All right, what are the tags? And who? How do you spell that? Oh. Uh, is the mic working? Oh no, I don't know if it's working. How, so how do I make it? Okay, how do I know? How do I fix that? Oh yeah, so that is. Oh, they're not. And it shouldn't. It shouldn't. This shouldn't change anymore. So. Oh okay. Looks like we're gonna get a me match on our hands. All right, so it looks like uh, we're gonna get game one started. Uh, Trip versus How You Donkey Kong versus the Sword Fighter. Um, very interesting uh, sort of matchup considering you don't really see Miz around that often, but. Looks of things, uh, looks like Trip's getting, uh, looks like, uh, oh wait, I need to flip these. Uh, let's see. It looks like How You is the. Oh, oh, and, uh, looks like, looks like How You takes the first stock already. Hello! Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, mics are alive. Okay. All right, so I am here with AK. How goes it? How goes it? So this right now is uh, Trip versus How You, Donkey Kong versus A Sword Fighter. Yeah. Uh, MSF. Starting here on small battlefield. I think this stage is actually pretty strong for DK because it ding dong windows on the platforms. Oh yeah, absolutely. I uh, personally, I always ban this stage against him because it's scary. But actually, getting the chakra. Yeah, guard. mics with the chakra. Yeah. I feel like if uh, I feel like Trip can potentially get a lot of mileage off of um, just playing a ledge game because it seems like Me Sword Fighter has a lot of options to deal with uh, DK a ledge. I mean, a lot of characters do because Donkey Kong kind of struggles in that regard. But... Yeah, just a huge character in general, so you can kind of throw stuff out and he'll get tagged by him if he's anywhere near it. Like, there's no chance of him really evading it too much. For sure. It also helps that. Um... Oh, but gets the gets the back throw mix up over yep. the over the down throw. Usually, yeah, DKs will opt to down throw up the side there, but the percent range he wouldn't have died at down throw, so you opt to go for the back throw mix up. Gonna yep. miss attack, unfortunately, Ooh, it's gonna take a stop. How you tries to go for a down air there? Okay. But... Oh, Ooh, grabbing grab... him out of the neutral B. Yep. Can't super on the grab. Ooh, gets another off stage, uh, but doesn't kill. But, uh, okay, also good. gets up oh. through the tornado. Yeah, he's passing kind of this kind of like a check matchup test right here. If the tornado hits, you get like base knockback into death. So it's pretty pretty huge that you avoid those at all costs. It's also why Trip is like setting them up repeatedly. 
Oh my gosh. Oh. Could have uh, gone. Could have gone. Just could have uh, been a little spooky there. But oh, trip evens it up. So we're at a one stock game right now. Yeah, we'll smash on the jump. How you's got vulnerability. Oh. Gonna get the fair spike. It's gonna oh be sealing gosh. out game one for how you. It's gonna be interesting to see where they opt to go. Looks like how you takes game one. That uh, I will say the. It's always funny when like a character spikes someone while they're like still like on stage and the other character just like evaporates yeah yeah because like they evaporate so hard because the, the blast zone will shrink whenever you get spiked in this game so like yeah. especially on stages like smashville smashville's brutal with it oh yeah i remember that's why everyone hated crom on release because <laughs> he would always uh his, his the stock trade would always be in his favor because uh they would die first yep yep i think it, it has something to do with the stage height right I think it's like if you do the up B at like stage level, he'll die first. But if you do it above now, uh, the opponent will live past Krom. I forget how it is now. I just know that Krom players don't really go for the, go yeah. for the kamikaze. Anymore. They kind of used to, right? When the game dropped, that's like all they went for. You get, you get hit by an arrow at ledge, and you're like, oh, I guess I just might as well write my will. Yeah, like that. that's going to seal it immediately. Yep. But, uh, trip going with Robin game two. Uh, I... I definitely think this is probably a very another oppressive match against uh, Donkey Kong, but we'll have yeah. to see how uh, how how you handles the so, Robin zoning. Switch the names. Yep. Uh, oh, the, but <laughs> oh, he's gonna get that clip going, but uh, switch the names. Oh right yeah. There. Oh. oh yeah. I don't know why it's. I think it's swap team positions. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Okay, anyway, now that name's fixed, um, gonna be very hard for DK to land, especially with 11 sword of play. Um, these Robin spells, whenever they hit, gonna be a lot of damage, and DK is not gonna have the luxury of certain characters being, like, small, so they don't get hit by precise strikes. DK is going to eat everything that goes his way. Although, small battlefield, it seems like DK's having a bit of an easier time, just because the mat the stage is a lot smaller, but... Uh, yep. Gets the standard uh, arc fire confirm off of that. Yep, arc fire into smash tech. DK's definitely no stranger to getting hit by those, but how he's gonna wall out with the double back air into the up tilt anti air? How's he gonna ledge trap here? Oh. oh, this faces the grab a little bit. This facing the grab, how he's gonna get the up tilt? Going for edge guard situation. How you gonna show patience, oh. but the actual the staff gonna save trip right there. Mash is not gonna be strong enough, so how he's gonna get that down throw. Yeah. Good anti uh, Trip's gonna have to find a way to sort of play more keep away, because right now how he is kind of just breaking through his trip's defense. But, ooh. ooh, almost gets the dare, but uh still puts how you in a bad spot. Yeah, trying to go for the dare, not get the sweet spot, however, how he's gonna Run up under and up tilt. I feel like um, that move specifically has been getting how you a lot of mileage in this set. Well, Trip gonna do the smart roll to get out of the grab range. However, that weird interaction, I think how you ended up on the other side of Robin, so Trip wasn't expecting it. Trip's in a bad spot and oh, manages to tech it and uh, now how he's in the corner, but. Still advances and ooh, nice weak, um, like the lingering hitbox and all uh, up there in the back air. But right now, um, ooh, breaks out of the grab mode. And, oh, that's oh. gonna do it. Oh, back air by how you and how you takes it too well over trip. Donkey Kong wins. Pretty, pretty solid set. Um, yep. Overall, Robin usually like gets the advantage but if dk gets a hidden robin's disadvantage isn't the greatest especially with dk like wanting back here all the time so if you shoot out a spell as pretty much anything except for like 11 aerial is gonna get walled out by dk's moves so you kind of just got to get that early start on him build the damage up and you snowball but if you don't then this character is a menace <laughs> it definitely didn't help that small battlefield just gave dk so many so many more chances to just get in close because the stage is so small yeah i feel like the stage is small the platforms benefit it and also ding dong the yeah. threat of ding dong commands so much respect against donkey kong that he doesn't usually get which is why he's one of the few characters in the game that i even i as like a snake i don't like taking him to ps2 Honestly, these two specifically, because like they're the worst with it. Because he gets you, he grabs you at like anywhere in the corner, because you don't want to die to like up B or smash attack. 
and then he just does ding dong and you die at either 70 on ps2 like 75 or yeah. like 65 on small battlefield yeah at least he... at least on like battlefield he has to like work a little bit for it yeah like, like... If, you get, if you get grabbed on the top platform of, of battlefield against donkey kong you kind of deserve it yeah for sure like that there's one spot that's like three feet long on the stage that you can't get caught at and if you get caught there i don't know like that's that said that's rough that has definitely happened to me before <laughs> yeah for sure for me, it personally happens way more on Yoshi's story, which I'm glad we're using the Genesis rule set. We don't have that anymore. I am a very big Yoshi story hater. Uh, Trip, what's the next? Uh, what's the it. what's the next match on the stream? Okay. Versus who? Two. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Coop, do I just capitalize the C? Okay. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Coop de loop. I think we're good. Wait, no, you put it on the. Oh. Oh, they're on different teams. Oh, yeah. okay. Dub team. Okay, this makes sense. Yeah. So, we're probably gonna get. We can honestly get a mix of characters here. We're gonna be looking at like either Link or a Heavy for Chu. So probably Bowser. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait to roast Chu for his Link gameplay. Yep, yep. And then we got Coop de Loop coming in with either Sephiroth or Wii Fit Trainer. Ooh. So interesting cast we got here. Definitely like not your average matchup run in the mill. But hopefully it'll be some entertaining gameplay. Maybe someone will get spiked, we'll see. Hmm. The one that always trips me up is whenever, like, we fit does, like, the dunk with the ball, spikes you in those scenarios. Those are always tricky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, because, like, the whole hitbox, on, like, the whole duration of it is just a spike. It doesn't have, like, the, the, the ball is the weak, is the weak hitbox on the, on the header. Um, okay. That's yeah. odd. Didn't know that. I think, I think it, well, like, it's not like, like, the headbutt itself doesn't last for very long, but it's like, the whole thing is a spike, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, so it's just like a, a spike ball, pretty much, of a hitbox yeah. whenever she does it, then. Should I, go today, guys? I said yeah, Link if, or if you Heavy. Go, if you go Link, I'm roasting you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which one of the four corners? Alright, let's go Chu Wu. Alright, we got the Chu Link. There's the Coop Wii Fit Trainer. It's gonna be a zony zony battle on PS2. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so switch themes. There's definitely gonna be a lot of interaction between uh, Boomerang and the soccer ball, for sure. They d definitely have some very funny interactions, but uh, currently she's doing a, a good job of uh, keeping Coop out. So. Mostly, mostly throwing the the boomerang up because it's kind of it's a really good anti-air that way. It prevents people from doing like jumps in and ooh, gets a. Nice up tilt. Grab on the air dodge. Nice patience from Chu. The air dodge is going to save him from the spike. Definitely starting out early. He wants to close at that stock as early as possible. I like the retreat to the platform. Kind of just getting away from the pressure there. Yep. It's really funny because like Link's kind of like a menace keeping you away, but then once he gets in, he's also a menace there, because it just, his, his nair is just such a good um, option, it's just, it's so, it's just, gives you so many options, but ooh, yep. he doesn't punish the, the, the deep breathing, uh, as shown right there, Nair is just, honestly, it's a really good tool. I don't think it's like as spammable as everyone says, but it has so many purposes that it's kind of hard to, you know, nail it down to one thing. Because you can rise with it, you can do falling Nair, it's like crap. Shown there. Hoop's shield looking a little low. Oh, I need to switch the players. Alright, deep breathing online, aka the weak bit trainer Arsene. Yep, that'll definitely kill. Deep breathing is such a strong... Yeah, it's a very, very strong move. Even though, like, Wii Fit doesn't have the greatest hitboxes, doesn't have the greatest approach options, but that literally might as well be all just sent, so. Oh, but, uh, Bomb did not connect there, has a dis the, the hitbox is a little deceptive on it. Get up attacking the Bomb, that was actually pretty smart by Chu. Yeah. 
Ooh, gets a gets a nice fake out with the with the fastball fair, but um, the, the second hit doesn't connect unfortunately. Yeah, I think he drift probably except the save on the second hit unfortunately. Uh, bomb trap. Well, dodges the the first bomb really well when he gets hit by the second. Yeah, you know, dodges the first bomb, get hit by second, kind of ledge trap scenario. Oh, the berry, but uh, he doesn't have to lose. It's where Link kind of takes on a snake roll whenever he's got someone on the ledge. Good up, he by Chu, catching the drop shield time mix up. Um, it's like a snake X C4, controls space, and it just kind of limits the rest of the options. I think someone here used to do that really well. Ooh, but oh. up he's on the shield and gets F smashed at yep. 74 and dies. We call up like boop and that's. That meditation, I don't know, this, like, was that Rising Sun or something like that? Salute the Sun? Salute the Sun, yeah. yeah. Salute the Sun, gonna do 33 alone. Rising Sun's a house in New Orleans. Oh, interesting. Well, I did not know that. <laughs> no, it's, it's a song. House of the Rising Sun's a song by the animals. Oh, okay. I hear learning about some music. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's do the approaching. Ooh. Is that up tilt? Yeah, that was an up tilt. It's an interesting call out for the up tilt. Okay. Oh, gonna, ooh, it gets caught jumping. Yep. It's gonna be the game for Coop. And then how we started, right? Does Remember that spike attempt at the very beginning? Yep. Gonna end it with successfully getting it instead of the weak hit this time. Yep. I think I. It's very I'll, interesting because the weak hit can also set up for very interesting uh, confirms on stage. Yeah. It's kind of like a bottom, like a bottom right angle, like a diagonal kind of. Yeah. Diagonal. It has a very. It has a very filthy angle, so it like it's great for like uh, missed attack opportunities, and it also I think it like it it also has a very generous auto cancel window if I remember correctly. Oh, interesting. I'm sure if I'm wrong, chat will roast me, but whatever. Game <laughs> two. Yep. We're into game two and. Uh, DK's come out. This kind of choose tried and true right here. Yeah. He is known for his DK. Yeah. Even back in the Smash 4 days before I was in the scene. I so. remember choose DK when I, when I would visit here. Yup, yup. Ooh, Ooh trying to get the jump call up. Give it. Getting the air dodge in into the, I believe, jab. Yeah, the back hitbox of jab. Up smash. Doesn't get the sweet spot. That sweet spot would definitely kill it. Even, with, even on DK. Yeah, because like, it isn't the sweet spot where the hands meet. Yep. Okay. Oh, the jab. With the, I'm telling you, deep freeze. Might as well be our set. Right? 33 again. It heals too. It's broken. <laughs> yeah, tries to go for a down beat mix up, but. Uh... I'm trying to call it the air dodge right there. That would probably. It wouldn't have added a kill, but that would have done a good 20 30. Oh, yeah. But Nair is also so good in the D against DK because the, the, first, the two hit. Oh, unfortunate SP. Yeah, I hate to see it. Unfortunately, there does not reach ledge. She's trying to get the grab here, but a little known or a little tidbit about uh, deep breathing makes we fit a little heavier. So oh. Ding dong kill. Interesting. It affects the ding dong windows. Yep. Okay. Ding -dong. Oh. Oh. That's what I was talking about, especially on the PS2 and small battlefield. I personally fear for my life more on small battlefield, but <laughs> PS2 is also just this fine and viable option. Absolutely, but you has a lot of ground to make up. He is too stuck. He's just stuck behind with uh... Yeah, unfortunately, because he got the Nair in such a low percent, it was negative on hit. Coop recognizing that and punishing it accordingly. Or Coop really wanted to jump all out there, but she was just going to stuff him out for it. So the sun in the grab does oh, so they all fair? stage fair. Fair doesn't kill, but Chu in a bad spot, but Bear doesn't hit. Yep. Let's see how Chu pops to not let Coop land, get in the back air into the dash tap. However, this is a good spot for Chu to try to recollect it. If he gets like a spike or a smash tap claw here, he can do it. He's gonna have to re-roll to reset to center, so not see a close game here. Oh, that was a very close spike, is... but Continuing to try to go for for dares to finish it off. You know, like, this one, like a stray F kill that ledge will, will do it. Dare again, he really wants the satisfying feeling of getting a spike, and honestly, I can't blame him, but True. right here, he's pushing the percent where almost anything will do it. Chu is really looking to do like a rolling call out. Yeah. Jab is gonna do it. Yep. Unfortunate SD by Chu, I think without that, he probably had more room to come back from that. That's a great seal of fate. Um, Chu, should I hop off now? Yeah. All right, I gotta, All right. I gotta play games. Well, yeah, well, I think for, so. For, call, yep. make, eh? for sure, for sure. Good it's fun time. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, what match is this?
who's playing right now? What are your tags? It's, um, oh, Tim Prater and WK9 or Mike 30. Honestly, it doesn't matter. WK9 and Tim Prater. Okay. All right, looks like we got WK9 versus Tim Prater. Three, two, Cloud versus one, Dr. Mario. Now, this is a matchup you don't really see that often, though I'm sure I'm sure STL is used to it, used to Tim Prater and Dr. Mario for some time now, but regardless, um, it's like this is just an even game right now, pretty much just stray hits for the most part on both players' accounts, but Tim is taking an early lead, but WK9 answers back with a few hits of his own, and now Tim is in a bad spot with Cloud with Limit, but he manages to get back, but WK9 moves on stage again, and WK9 uses Cross Slash, and now Cross Slash is offline, but Tim is still in a bad spot, and oh, manages to get back on stage, very good recovery on Tim Prater's part. He is still in the corner by WK9's uh, pressure. Right now, Tim is Tim kind of just been, has been either off stage or at ledge or near the ledge for a while. But the cape does help get him back into a position where he can possibly answer back. But WK9 is just continuing to put him in a bad spot. But yet, but Tim Prater is answering back. And oh, but the up feed does take Tim Prater's first stop. But Tim quickly answers back and puts WK9 in a bad spot. Oh, and I think that's going to do it. Yep, Cloud's recovery without limit is very exploitable. So now, back to an even game. But WK9 is still getting some good starting hits while Tim Prater answers back with some jabs. Tim Prater once again in the corner, but let's see how he... He has found a way to get back on it. It's still making it easy, but right now WK9 is kind of running away with the second stock. And he does have a limit on deck, so he might be able to seal out the second stock, but oh, uh, cross slash on shield. Tim Prater punishes back, but that's still in a bad position. But oh, nice pill confirm on Tim Prater's part, and he, and he does have an answer. And oh, I think that might... Yep, that might do it. Tim Prater takes the second stock first. And right now, and if, if he can play his cards right, he would, might be able to get a bit of extra percent as well. And oh, he does by getting a nice convert, a nice solid conversion. But oh, then he kind of answers with a short hop dare, and the big hitbox takes the takes Tim's second stop. But that said, Tim is is in the lead right now, but. WK9 does have a limit on deck, but he uses it for a blade beam for some nice conversions. And ooh, gets the down throw to four there. Big meaty hit. But, oh, oh my gosh. WK almost down tilted right into that up smash, but uh Now Tim is now Tim is the one putting WK9 in the corner for most of this stock, and let's see if he's able to, to finish out game one. Oh that up smash almost connects. Let's see, but WK9 is is still like he's getting he's getting some solid hits in it. You can still both of these players could win at any time. And, oh, it gets the jab one to to up B and Tim takes game one. Very solid on both players' accounts. So let's see what they will do for game two. Looks like they are staying Cloud and Dr. Mario. I definitely think they might, WK Knight might try to go to some tri plats if they No, going to small battlefield. I do think this is a pretty good stage for Cloud. We'll have to see how, how Tim, uh, how Tim handles game two. Right now, he is, he almost got another down throw fair. Would have been some pretty good damage. Currently, WK Knight is... 
He's pressuring Tim back into, back into the corner. So Tim has a chance to end to, to response for his own, but gets stuffed out by that dare. But ooh, calls out the double jump with a forward air, and looks like Tim takes the first stop. Right now he is in the corner, and ooh, that up smash doesn't kill. He's back in the he's back near the ledge, but the weekend eye manages to hit Tim Prater off this time, and ooh, the almost. <laughs> Almost gets uh, off stage cross slash, but Tim manages to get back on stage. But ooh, that back air doesn't quite do it. Tornado, oh, but then gets the nair. But uh, WK has to waste the limit, so that was, that's still. So Tim is very much in the lead here. But he gets a nice pill conversion right now. And ooh, almost capes, almost capes WK9 off stage while he's trying to recover. But WK9 does fight back out of the corner. Let's see how these two players deal with the current situation. Ooh, and Tim gets another approaching pill confirm. Ooh, let's see. Oh, gets the down throw to up air. Standard confirm. But WK9 has an answer for his own. He does have a limit. He is he is able to get back, but he is going to have to spend limit. And ooh. But then reads the roll with a, with a nice up smash, and Tim is taking... Is, and Tim is currently in the lead for game two at, uh, at match point. But WK9 still has a chance. Ooh, almost gets, almost got stuffed out by that downward angled forward tilt. Right now, Tim is, they're kind of just trading blows right now. Ooh, WK9 now in the corner. Ooh, he tries to go for the, he tries to go for the, for the down air, but WK9 is still having an answer to most of the, uh, Tim is having an answer to most of WK9's life pressure, but man, it just, uh, ooh, gets the down throw up. He doesn't kill. Solid confirm doesn't kill, but WK9 has a pretty has a pretty big mountain to climb if he wants to make it to game three. But ooh, a nice dash attack kills off the top. Surprisingly str strong. Well, not really surprisingly, but pretty strong. And ooh, answers with the, the blade beam, with the limit blade beam. But well, I think WK9 is out of most down throw confirms, so Tim is gonna have to get either a nice. Oh, almost gets the forward air. But Tim, Tim, in order to kill, Tim has to get a either like a nice up B out of shield or a or an up smash or maybe an up smash or, some, or a solid back a solid back air at this point close to the ledge will finish things off. So WK9 is now t is now taking. Oh, almost gets the up smash, but. And now WK9 has limit. Oh, he falls out of the cross slash. Oh my gosh, that was unfortunate, but. It still is anybody's game. Oh, but the up the out of shield, and Tim Prater will take game two. And that will be the match. Still good showing from both players. WK9 definitely has a solid cloud. Oh, their controller's tangled. All right. All right, looks like we got Joe Mama versus J-Step.
Versus J Step. Uh, looks like we got Wario versus. Three, two, one, go! So right now, it looks like. Um, right now, interesting matchup, interesting matchup. I really swear this. There are a lot of matches this game, I just haven't seen but, uh, Unfortunately, I won't be able to see some of what uh, Joe Mama's spells are because the, the overlay is kind of blocking it. But I will try my best. Ooh, had to move on deck, but didn't. Move on deck. It does look like a very interesting match. But right now, Yomama kind of um, getting a really nice early lead for for the first stock of this game. Ooh, I saw the whack, but uh, decided to, and Mario decided to eat the wind, saving that wind up for when he. Takes a big old part on him later. Ooh, gets a nice, nice frizz. Ooh, spaces around the get-up attack and gets a down smash. And Go Mama takes the first stock in the mode. Looks like I have DL on the mic here. This is my mic breaking. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Alright. DL, what do you think about the hero Wario match? Uh, both of these players are really funny, and I've enjoyed playing both of them. Uh, that's about all I can say about them. <laughs> we got the zoomies. Um, not a fan of the tech. Oh wait, it's, it's, Joe, Ma it's Joe Mama, not no, Joe No, he, he told me to spell it. Oh, he like did. Joe Emma, he told me to misspell it. <laughs> he says okay. everybody spells it wrong. I don't know if I'm being trolled, but uh... Let's go. Joe Mama's been this game pretty... Basically an entire stock up ahead. Yep, yep. However, uh, you kind of have to play a, you kind of have to three stock Wario or else uh, you'll yeah, just I, get pooped on. I have a question about that. What? Uh, about the thing that your hero has right now, bounce. Does that work on fart? Uh, I don't think it's a kaboom. What? Yep. And Wait, there's the kaboom. Was that a back air or was that waft? I couldn't tell. No, it, no, it, was, it was not waft. It was okay. Not. He still has, he still has waft, but he's definitely gonna have to use it for either the third, the second or last. Definitely stock. the second stock because if he uses it now, he loses the game. Yep. Get some nice parry on the deck. Gets another parry. I forget. I always forget that fireball starts going somewhere faster, and the back air to catch the jump. So, J step has a bit of a lead to climb, but definitely. But yeah. oh, and he gets the, the crit. crit. Oh, this is uh, RNG is not in J step's favor, no. but. He's got the reflect up, so we might be able to see what happens when Loft hits a... Uh, uh, well, no, here, no, it's just Damn. Unfortunate on J-Step's part, but let's see. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. He saves him. What a, what a man. What a good sport. I hope he loses now. <laughs> yeah, let's go, J-Step. Let's go, J-Step. Wario's empty hop is so- Oh uh, my god. Thwack. Deleted. Absolutely. Literally, literally deleted. Wario's uh, empty hop fastball is so funny to me. Do you just like- He just goes like- whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, like- Remember Wectoring? Uh, yeah. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Stop the battle. Remember how every character in Brawl had like a grab release combo on Wario because he couldn't do anything until he like landed on the ground? We have some people in this local who were three years old when Brawl was out. Okay? That's, that's... I don't want to think about that. Actually, if Luma's 15, he would have been a 1. Uh, I don't, I really don't want to think about that. Right now, Hero's powering up. He's got all, he's got all the, bo the boosts, but, uh... Let's see. Mario's air mobility is so uh, funny to watch. Yes, he's a wacky dude. Yeah. Well, loses the oof. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot's happened in these 30 seconds and nothing has 
damage really happened in these 30 seconds. There yeah. we go. That's a, a lot of damage. That's why most commentators talk about the two players in the first 30 seconds, because not much really happens. True. Um, I don't know anything about these guys. I don't know. I don't know what anybody You're else You're not knows. versed on the J-Step more? Can't say so. He's uh, looking at his menu. I can't read. Neither can I, but it uh, goes for a... Uh, See, I don't actually ever think playing hero against me is fair, because I'm dyslexic. So that's me. You're math dyslexic. Yeah. That's still dyslexic. Uh, I would've got... I, I think... Oh. I've, I've seen, uh, I've seen heroes go for heal, mainly because it gets rid of heal in the menu for other spells. Oh, yeah. Because can't you only get healed twice per stock? Yes. Or is it once per stock? It's, I think it's, one, it's either once or twice per stock, but... Regardless, Joe Mom is kind of low on mana right now. Ooh, but it doesn't matter. That that down air looked that down air was uh, a little suspicious. That was that was angry. He was angry with that. That was the stop the yard kind of. A... I have no idea what any of Hero's magic costs are. Never paid attention. Uh, he needs like at least three to do the. Wait a minute. That was a waft. <laughs> Oh, that was a lost waft at him two minutes into the game. Oh, unfortunate. Not getting a but... stock, not even hitting him. And, oh, can't throw it up in the air when there's a hero with it in front of you. Yeah. Or whatever that was. Does hero have any, any throw combos? Uh, down throw kind of? I don't know if I believe that. It's like a zero. And got a stock. So it's not completely out of the picture, but this is going to be hard for J-Step. J-Step's going to have to play a little more defensively. Well, but he's he going to have answer. to do whatever that is. He is answering back with a solid, uh, a solid combo from there, but let's see how he, let's see how he continues to play. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Oh my god, he's so fast, he's so strong. Oh my god, that did oh like 30%. Oh my gosh, he is, he is, he is everywhere. Oh. Almost, a, almost, uh, almost there so had a fatal silly. motorcycle accident. Yeah, Fell there. asleep at the wheel. <laughs> oh no! And the kamikaze oh. did take the stock. <laughs> and it blew up the bike. Oh, you can't? Understandable. Yeah, we're kind of right next to where the players are, so they can just kind of hear us talking. So, I'm gonna make fun of them even more. I can't see chat. If there's a chat... I don't know if there's a chat. I don't know if we're even streaming. Are we streaming? Yeah, we're streaming. Look, there's the... This is the chat. Look, there's Bryce. Bryce oh. is in the chat. Is the music muted on the setup? I don't know. I don't know, Bryce. Let me turn on my Twitch stream and go to twitch.com forward oh, no, slash. Look, you can, you can hear it. I can, I can hear it. I, I don't can't hear, any hear music. it. I don't hear any music. You don't hear it? I don't hear anything. Please, it's hard to watch. Okay, yeah, can... we're, 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 we'll try. We're going to go get Chew. No, no, you can, I think it's like you just. No, go get Chew. Chew no, it says is the music muted. Oh, is the music muted? Yeah. Oh, let me go look. Bryce, you fixed it. I'll do anything for Bryce. I would die for Bryce. We have infinite channel. Stop the battle! Make so many good bets. Oh my god. I 
Okay. Got Dr. You. Mario! Oh, yep. Oh, so who are the is, players? This is Colorado versus Tim Crater. Three, two, one, go! Is that all lowercase? No, it's, no, it's uppercase. That's good. All right, so this versus Dr. Mario. So, I feel like these two have played a lot, and I have no idea what they're saying. Is it? Oh, it's round two, then. Oh, it's round three, actually. Oh, okay. Is there the fourth and fifth seed? So, that would, that would be round three. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna double check. They are throwing hands early into this game. I honestly forgot Inkling was a character in this game. Colorado is so good at this game. But Colorado is making a strong first stop. Tim is, sure. is answering back. I'm still not sure who we are, but this tournament doesn't count for anything, so I think that's why Tim's playing back with the Doctor. Oh, he doesn't normally play Doctor? I thought he normally played Doctor. No, Tim normally plays separate. Oh, yeah, he does. But uh, Tim was kind of mixing me up on Wi Fi two days ago with this Doctor Mario. That was not. Doctor Mario's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that was. That was upbeat. That was upbeat. Yeah, fun oh. fact, if you up the and out of multi-hits, it'll, like, continuously cancel, oh, yeah. it'll do, like, 60%. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> this frame data is very good. Yes. That's a pink doctor. That's one pink doctor. That's... Th that... Doctor, Doctor Mario got that... Danganronpa. Shut up. The Dongo Bongo. Watching Dr. Mario is so silly because I'm just so used to watching Mario. Nice, nice back, back air. I'm just so used to watching regular Mario combos that when Dr. Mario does things, they just all look fake. I mean, I don't want to say they are he fake. He does like but... down tilt to up tilt to forward tilt, and it just looks so silly. Yeah. Dr. Mario combos are very weird because his up air is unintuitive, which is a nice way of saying not that, not as good as Mario's. Yeah. Does not get him with the, with the mix up. Is that his up here or his down? That's his down here. Oh, yeah. Not a whole lot. If he recovered low, he was getting nared. If he recovered high, he was getting up smash. Yep. Good job on Colorado. Colander? Colander. Cylinder. Cylinder 8. Cylinder. Wait, if Colorado's here, Wolfro, why are you not here? One, in chat? Yeah. Wolfro, why are you not here? I thought you went to everything. It's pretty small. It's oh, okay. It's the same size. Yeah, like down tilt to F tilt is just such a silly looking thing. If you're so used to playing regular. He does, still has down throw up there. Does he? Yeah, he just saw you. He, he just oh, did it. yeah. I have short term memory loss. This is very similar to the last game, where they're both above 70% less than 30 seconds. Ooh, almost gets the. Almost strong, gets the. Here comes a giant fist of. Oh, that gets is. The, this is so similar to last game. I'm pretty sure it, at the exact same percent at the exact yeah. same time, he got rollered up smashed. Yeah. He, even, he did like a neutral get up and he was, he yep. was still punished for it. That's crazy. Ooh, good F smash call out on Colorado's part. He could have blinked and looked and Tim's at 96% already. Yeah, Inkling does more damage when you have. Oh, well, yeah. Good pressure, though. Good morning, Tim's getting these really strong hits, but he's getting them on the wrong side of the map. Yep, so he's continuing to have to run over to the other side to decide where to guard. Which, Dr. Mario is not known to be the strongest, oh. to be the fastest, but he, he does answer with a down throw up. Oh, your boost period is over yet. Yeah, makes sense. I tap back in, and up throw up there. That, that'll happen. Yeah. Yep. 
but see, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get a nice little combo and start out. Nice fastball to get through the platform. Dr. Mario's pill is a very good tool has in so a lot much of matchups, but it does not look like this is one of the matchups where it's very good. Because <laughs> it seems like the is just too fast and too small and... Gets a nice conversion. Ooh, and oh my, oh oh. my gosh, uh, nice Tim is yeah. doing a very good job at keeping Colorado there. Yeah. Ooh, and that whole, that was a whole sequence. Ooh, that was beautiful, one. honestly. That was a very good end guard on Tim's part. Let's see if he can, uh, get to Colorado keep made the same mistake two or three times there. He just kept holding the ledge. Yeah. He needs to press a button. Dr. Mario's up tilt did not reach the platform, unfortunately. Well, yeah, you could push buttons on stage. Greatest back throw in the game. Oh, uh, it's not gonna kill. So, uh, oh, but Tim does manage to break Colorado out. Colorado recognizes the instant mashing and goes to the platform to try and punish it, but barely doesn't get it. It's basically oh, almost even. gets yeah. the sweet. If he got the sweet spot, that might have killed. But ooh, another sour spot on the floor there. Can't hold that. <laughs> oh my gosh, and gets the down tilt up the. As, Raider takes game two. As I said, 12 seconds. Ago. Just gotta press buttons. <laughs> just I have to press buttons. Pick a button, any button, any of them. Honestly, like you're you're against a Dr. Mario. It's not like he's that scary. Like he's scary. Tim's very good. He's pretty scary. But he's not whole blood because you don't know what Tim's scary. Remember my Dr. Mario? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're going into a game three, three and back to small two, battlefield. One, go! This is small battlefield is so weird. Why did they add this stage? They uh, added one stage throughout Ultimate's entire life cycle, and it was just in a random patch. Because they saw everyone only playing PS2, so. True, that is true. Yeah, this is just better PS2. I wouldn't say better. I like small stages. Better. I like that you get to kill early. That's a some good back. This is relatively slower good. than the last uh, couple games. Yep, and Tim's actually up at end the lead this time. Yeah. Tim is in. Makes a pretty good conversion. He gets a nice down throw. But it is the lead man. Shields the up smash punch too. There. But, oh. D9. Tim is getting so much mileage off of these pills. Tim always does. He's very good at using rock pills. Not only is he very good at using it, he's very good at converting. Oh, good that here. Jump off the ledge, and it's an air dodge into the ground. It will get you back here. Yeah. The stomp, down tilt, F tilt. Down tilt, up tilt is so funny. The weakest of the weekend, but uh, it looks like Alonda tried to read a hole with the roller. Tim barely missing that jab block. Punishes the roll with the. Yeah. Smash and gets the four there. It looks like all it oh. takes is oh my god. All it up takes be is out of dis up being disadvantage works every time. Ooh, ooh. Again. Colorado, Colorado keeps holding ledge for too long. I don't know if we should be saying this out loud because uh True. Up air, and up air actually kills off the side for Dr. Mario, which is pretty funny. The 15% Mario there is it's very funny to see. That's because it, yeah, it's stronger. It has a as it as it yeah. the longer it's out, the more damage it does. Which is this character is so goofy. What but is that called? Is there a name for that? Uh, I don't know. It's still a sex kid, but uh. Dr. Mario is just. Or should I say a stork kick since we're on esports? <laughs> oh, but F Smash is gonna take the stop. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do it. Colorado's gotta make a very big comeback, but it's not that hard to do, especially against the Dr. Mario. Ooh, but, a, but he got kicked very in the face. Very solid. <laughs> kick, kick. Man, you got kicked in the face. Tim takes it. takes it. takes it. Solid game. Tim takes his soda and walks away quickly. I want a soda. We have a soda right here. Yeah, but it's almost all gone. I can go get a refill. You could get a refill. I'm gonna go get a refill. You want me to go get it or you got it? No, I'm good. Okay. I don't know who we got on stream next. AK and Morley. And who? 
Morley. So more my friend Morley here how do I spell is that? only here because I'm here. Wait, Morley, what's your tag? What tag? Do you want to see his Morley? Okay. So M O yeah. No backspace, backspace. That one. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna choose that. Do okay, I just do then... AK? Yeah. Wait, AK. Do you want to be AK or Apollo Kage? Okay, do that one. What's up? Oh, put AOE before. It. AOE. Is it? Is this? Is the O? Is yeah, the O? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. If it's not, I'm so sorry. Well, it's all uppercase on the screen oh, yeah. back anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna run and get a drink. We'll be back. Okay. And I am back. I am back too. So this is good. Cause I actually know these players like well, you know. I only know AK. So let me tell you a story about Morley. So Morley is a snake player. Or was at least, I don't know if he still plays it. He might, he might not, who knows. Um I found Morley on Elite Smash in, I want to say January of 2020, or no, 2019, in January of 2019, and we were playing, we are both playing Snake, and he was really good, so I uh, found him on Discord, or Twitter, maybe, I can't remember, I found him on one of them, and I was like, hey man, you're good, and so I added him, and then I found out later that he was in St. Louis. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute, I'm in St. Louis, so you should come to locals. And he came to like one or two locals, and then COVID happened. Aww. Yep. But now he's here. Instead of a pandemic, he's now in a oh, wait, pandemic. We gotta, we gotta reset the games. Yeah. Oh, he's playing, he's gonna be playing a me fighter. Oh. Dang, you're making him seem so cool. And he breaks out the meat fire. And he, he goes, he went one. I'm gonna be judging remember. these. Shot put. I don't even remember what he went against me. Shot put. The shot put's good. Yeah, but it also isn't. Well, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, but I am a. Avid shot put hater. And I bet AK's gonna play Snake. I heard that AK's shredded. AK's I heard. got an it got an eight pack. <laughs> B roller. Oh wait, we gotta switch the we gotta switch the uh Wait, player. is AK playing? No no no. No AK's player Snake wait. AK's player one. Yes. There we go. Alright, so we got Snake versus me Brawler. What do you think of this matchup as the residential Snake player? I miss Smash Bros. Brawler. I don't. I do. I do not. Uh, but, ooh, Brawlers? Brawlers? People have found out that Brawler has mix in this game. Yeah. Of course, I've always, I've always known because I had to play Katakiri for, oh, yeah. for years. 
And he plays all of these now. He plays what the all of me except Sword Fighter. Oh it's yeah, that's job. the burning dropkick is just like flare blitz, but like way more grand because it's just like safe on it's like pseudo safe on shield. He didn't use that against me. Actually, I think I like that pick because from what it looked like, it looks like it goes over grenades that yeah. are on the ground. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice conversion there. But... Oh, runs right in the up tilt. Yeah. Nobody is safe. Up tilt, baby. I really like how AK just waits sometimes. Like he'll like hold a grenade and he'll just like sit there and just wait to see what you're gonna do. But yeah, like that. <laughs> like that. It's it's so smart. Cause like so, so many smart. snakes just wanna like drop it immediately, but he's just like he just he just like waits. He, he just he's like, what are they gonna do in this situation? I think it's Oh ooh, nice F tilt. Ooh, and then <laughs> Bounces off of the off of the border. That uh, the burning dropkick is really good at uh, oh, jumps right from the, to the other border. His burning dropkick is down B? No, it's side B. Okay, well he hasn't used his down B then. Down B might be the counter. I'm not sure. No, he probably has the uh, the ZSS flip. Oh, yeah. Because well, no, if you have burning dropkick, you don't need the ZSS. Flip. Yeah. We haven't seen him use it yet. So. Good uh, wait on the jab and then wait for AK to jump out of shield. But oh! Can't do that. Yeah. Cannot do that. Unfortunately. Look how much Bryce is helpful. That sign won't stop me because I can't read. See, I like Bryce because he's me. <laughs> Alex, so we're gonna go Bryce into game two. Morally going to small battle. Snake's back air certainly is. It's the sleeping bag. And it's so good. Yeah. I'm surprised that didn't kill us since it's on small battlefield. Oh yeah, it's the ZSS kick. Yeah, it is the ZSS kick. Yeah, unfortunately down throw right on the edge. We'll push them off. The burning kick actually made him low profile the jab. Yeah, it, it did look like a low profile. That was really funny. I wonder if jab, F tilt, jab, F tilt, F tilt, break shields. I kind of doubt it, but it looked really funny. This is the up B, but doesn't get punished, so it's okay. Morley's doing a pretty good job at avoiding the, uh, the up tilt so far. Except for that first stock. No, they still have three stocks. No, the first game. Oh, the first game. 180 for me, brother. Ooh, but gets hit by the Nikita. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Well, well, I don't know if that was Now right Morley's chance to uh, get uh, back sleeping bag. I don't know if that was the right button for AK. Oh! Does not get it. Snake is chunky. It's a big boy. Barely avoiding the shot put. There. Good avoidance on the CQ on Morley's part, too. Ooh, but converts off of that grenade. Down air out of shield. Went for the forward air spike. But the... jumped into the get up attack. That was a, that was a down beat. Uh oh. No, I mean, like, morally jumped into the get up attack. Oh, yeah. I think my favorite thing about watching AK play is his use of it. Oh, what, my God. What happened? That's so sad. What happened? I love AK's use of Mayor. Same. Him using it, like, as a true combo and as a not true combo is so entertaining Ooh. to watch. Because well, I'm terrible currently doing a pretty, did a pretty good, good job of getting some uh, good, good version off of that play. I am just absolutely horrendous at using there. Watching AK use it is so good. There's the up there. Yeah. Unfortunate SD on Morley's part. 
In both games. Yeah, in both games. Oh, Bryce, you made it? Oh. I like that Bryce guy. He's cool. I don't know who we have up next. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Have you played yet? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I lost him morally. Oh, are you out? No. Okay. Got to, I had to wait on a few matches and losers. That's how it do. Played Falco player, and I pyramithered him. And then I played Morley and we gentlemen's to no snake. And uh, the pyramithered game was close, but he beat me. And then I switched to DDD. And I was gaming. Yeah. And then I lost because I'm DDD. <laughs> yeah, that's DDD. I tried to channel my inner A2. A2, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I failed. I failed you. But it looks like we got uh, Joe, Mama, Luma, and White Kirby 9 walking over here, but I'm not sure who's playing. Because I can't see your bracket, because I'm blind. Reading is hard. So it looks like we got Luma and Joe Mama. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's what I did. J-H-O. Solid. Can I do Joe Mother? Is that a good one? Joe Ma. And we got... Luma, what do you want your tag to be? Okay. Okay, I gotta go play. Trank, you're up. Hello, Trank. Hello. Hi, chat. I don't know how many of you guys remember me. Uh, my name's Trent. This is my first tournament in three years. <laughs> DL drove him here. What's up? DL drove him here. <laughs> yeah. Michael brought me here. We've been hanging out on League for about four or five months. Ago. Yeah. I was in town, so I said, hey, let's come out. Good to have you here. <laughs> Oops. Now I get to run commentary for a. Uh... <coughs> it's like, I'm gonna take this Sorry. I get to run commentary for a uh, tournament that, or a game that I haven't played much in the past four years, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> well, you know, those who can't, those who can't do commentate. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like a pretty good fundamental understanding of the game. So. Yeah. I've been in the game for a while, but I've kind of haven't really played a lot recently. That's kind of why I didn't enter. Didn't want to get mad because I'm rusty. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think um, I think I can tell that the fundamentals are still in my hands, you know. But uh, yeah, that's without like... without having played at all, I have like no matchup knowledge. I don't know what anybody does. And I consider Sinero so grabs good. me and does seventy percent, and I ask myself why. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but that's okay. Oh yeah, so... So it looks like here we have uh, Luma versus Joe Mama. I don't know either of these players. But I saw I've heard that Joe Mama good. play earlier today. He was fighting, um... J-Flex. But I haven't seen Luma play yet, but it looks like they're going to be doing Hero versus Joker. I was told that Luma is quite good, so I will uh, trust in my knowledge that I was provided. Yeah. I don't know anything about the heroes Three, because I've actually two, played as or against one, um, he, he blows you up, and he, so he has basically, he has moves that makes him go big mode, and then he has moves that make you evaporate Sounds with, right. with no middle ground. <laughs> what I've seen, Joker has been a very impressive, like, long ranged game, yeah. also an impressive yeah. long front game, so that is a, an easy combo for a top tier character, and I can understand why he's considered a top tier. Oh yeah. Uh, a 
fast character with good projectile game is uh, always a very impressive fighter. Uh, Combined with Larson, I'm assuming it's a... Uh, oh, but he oh, gets... Oh, but that's an excellent freeze. Oh my and gosh! Two frame on the fire, fire and ice! Yeah, Do you remember the 17th night of <laughs> September? And an excellent punish by Go Mama on the uh, recovery from the button. Now, the... Should be seeing yeah. Arson here pretty soon. I think yeah. that uh, Luma really needs to push here and try and, uh, try and even back up the moment. I feel sure. like Joker probably plays best for Luma. That's an excellent yep. combo. Gets the, that's the standard Joker combo, the down air and uh, down air and up smash. Very hard, very hard to attack. Arson does absolutely absurd amounts of damage, so it is very easy to make. But right now, uh, Arson's gone, and the kaboom, I, uh, the kaboom does suck. The, the kaboom like sucks the character in when the hero doesn't. Ooh, gets an up tilt. Ooh, and a little taunt too. Joe I Mom do wish I knew what a hero's kit did, but I will be learning that as we go. Yep. Yeah. But it's looking like a, a pretty solid early game here for Joe Mom. I think as long as he can build a tornado, this should be a quite proper. Joe has been doing a very good job at being like that punishing, at punishing a lot of Joker's options with that, uh, with that yeah. up the out of shield. Mainly because it has a very decent, has a very it lingers for a while. So even if he sort of like misses the Joker, Joker's usually tend to always want to to are very sort of like Russian play style. So yeah, I was gonna say it feels like he does have a lot of shield, so even though he has good and uh, it's easy to punish him out of shield. His, his hit lag comes from Arsene, mostly. Yeah. Well, right now, it's, he has right now zero too. meters for Arsene. Uh, but now being does a kill percent for Luma, too. It's going to be a... Yeah, he's got to play very carefully. Well, that was yep. an excellent combo of Baron Dove Smash. Yep, gets the, a lot of Joker finishers involved with the standard um, first hit of fair and uh, do an up air. He's either dragging down or getting them on a platform and then finishing it with an up smash, either with Arsene or without. But... Joe Mama is still doing a very good job of keeping Luma out, but Luma, Luma does have a burst here to come back. However, he's still got a mountain pick for him for sure. Here, a spells prepped. Well, up yeah. tilt for victory. Yep, after that definitely kills, especially after Psych Up, which is like. So, like, Hero has like. He has two big modes. He has Oof and Psych Up. Where Psych Up is basically, it makes one hit uh -huh. do a lot of knockback, but it'll, it's only on the next hit. And then the second one just makes your moves do more damage oh, gotcha. overall. But they stack. So if a hero gets like Oof and Psych Up and then hits, you, hits your shield with like a back air, it just evaporates. Your shield evaporates. Gotcha. Oh, and Hero right. Smash and it looks Attacks like have a. Like, returning to his original main and Rob, as I was Roll. thinking with my opponent. Return the robot. <laughs> St. Louis tradition to have a uh, residential rock player. Absolutely. Yeah, and so I know the, the rock switch is currently working out as, as uh, Joe is kind of getting uh, stuffed out by a lot of uh, his, uh, Rob moves. Yeah, Rob's ledge game has always been very impressive. Especially when he's trying to spinning top is uh, fascinating or something like that. Uh, if Rob never tries to do a ledge, it's very impressive. Rob has very good kill setups with his down throw up airs and down tilt up airs. So, so. I can also see why he did the Rob change. Now he's able, he's gonna be able to punish those up out of shields a lot more. Yeah. And, ooh, but gets a uh, oh. Tries to be tries to be a little cheeky with the with the down air uh, out of being frozen, but now because of that, ooh, but. Yeah, the, uh, the flip side of Rob is he's like, absolutely awful in his advantage state, and uh, you can see Joe Mama excellent because I don't know time he had it. However, being stuck back on the ledge is probably about the last thing we're doing Oh, and, uh, yep, that's Another that's excellent that's combo. That's that's Throw definitely kills, just uh, <laughs> heat him up. 
kind of me up. Still has bounce on mine too, so now that gy yeah, it just ha only has to run into the gyro for it. Yeah, too. but getting stuck in those downhill chains really does change the momentum. Absolutely, and it now looks like stuck. Uma is is on track to take game two, but it does match up Buddy that he just should be. Still doesn't connect with the kill combo. Nice conversion. That said, uh, Jomama still does have. Uh, he's got a long way to go before this game gets even again. And then there's the that, standard. That should be the end of game two. Yep. And I think the Rob switch definitely working out next. Absolutely. So I think, uh, I think Joe Mama probably needs to work on maybe holding. I heard Joe Mama say he's making a B. Is are we gonna see the? Are we gonna see a B? Oh, going the Me Fighter route. Joe's calling for 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 a coach, coach morally. I have, I have heard that me fighters are better at ultimate. They certainly aren't a joke, and they sure can catch you by surprise. Like the best, the best way I could describe me Gunner has um, Cloud Nair from like Smash Four. Cloud Nair. He has Cloud Nair. Yeah. From Smash Four. Oh, I yeah. need to play this character then. <laughs> Cloud Nair is the only move that I actually know how to use. So. True. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yes, this is Trent. Hi, Donnie. I see you. And hello, Roulette, as well. Someone's yelling. I actually know nothing about Ultimate, so this is my first time commentating on the game. Unfortunately, I don't know the movesets of a lot of characters, but I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to acclimate gravity. Flashbacks to a uh, really attempting to make the Miis into actually good characters back in the day. They sure were characters. <laughs> they weren't good. They were characters. But also, we're going to game three. Rob definitely. I can see why. I can see why Joe would go Meat Brawler against Rob. Meat Brawler is definitely a character that I feel like has a lot of nasty, yeah, once a, nasty once mix on Rob. Having already been caught at the ledge, I think that that's just. It's very good by uh, the keep forcing him to feel like uh, keeping him in this dimension. Best thing ever. Down throw and up air. Oh, but he eyes it. He eyes it incorrectly, so he Joe dies off the top. Kill confirmed. 110. Oh. Oh, man. That is not going to That kill. is already a well, kill. Well, that is. That and uh, Joe as did not use it. It appears the... that the B brawler switch is not quite working out as intended. Yeah, uh, if Joe had the if Joe had the ZSS flip kick special, then it might have worked out a little bit. But <laughs> oh, but he get, gets the counter. All right. The counter is very. Funny. And now I can see that like, uh, the brawler, whenever she has finished, uh, actually this game is working out quite well. However, uh, well, the brawler has to find. Ooh. Oh, an excellent, excellent F smash there. Joe, Joe, uh, come on, Joe, I believe Joe can turn this around. And uh, I will have faith in Joe to uh, to make this comeback. Gets the 20% suplex. Though, uh, but, uh, it's looking, on top it's looking of a little berries. bit rough in control here now. And uh, that down tilt is most definitely extraordinarily stale. And I think that'll I be I think that that's the end of this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some excellent banter between our our Smash compatriots up front. And we should be getting our next set up here pretty soon. Let me check out bracket and see what we have. We should oh, be yeah. having coming up. Are we gonna be in the semis yet, or? No, I think we're doing the last match of quarters next. Okay. All right. Check. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have Domen versus uh, Delzethan. Looks like. I've heard that Domen is an Olimar player. Interesting. It's been a while since I've seen an Olimar. 
was uh, I have respect for St. Louis and that we finally actually have played people playing top tiers. <laughs> um, you know, back in the, back in the old day, I don't know how many people we have who are veterans to the scene who are watching, but um, we were kind of infamous for having a, a bunch of mid-tier mains in our top five. We were quite good at their characters, however, uh, it took us a while to break out because of it. Yeah. Stepping up. Yeah, we had a Mac on PR. We had a, uh, I mean, we've had a Falco, you know, looking at you, Quilly. <laughs> Falco, Falco is. See, the thing about saying that spaces are, are good in any regard makes all spacey mains yell at you. <laughs> if, if you put. If you put a fox main, a falco main, and a wolf main all in a room together, they talk their character down to bottom three. <laughs> I mean, that's seen... been the Spacey's tradition since uh, since, since forever. Since, uh, since uh, melee. Been, you know, just remembering Dare at very, very ferociously arguing that fox was barely high tier. Uh, what should I put? Up, what should I put for player names? So D E L C E T H I N. Like that? Uh, I. And I agree, Donnie. I do indeed miss the, uh. Yeah, that's right. That Doma? Doma. Doma. Okay. Yeah. I do indeed miss the, uh, the days when Nick was number one on PR. For the, a little story about Modi from um, back in the day, we had a tournament. We had a super major here in St. Louis about six years ago called UGC. Oh, and, Yo, UGC. And UGC, yeah. And, um, that was Dark Shadow's breakout tournament. Modi had to play uh, Zero in pools. And Modi, the absolute hero that he is, took stock one off of Zero. And uh, was actually... Kind of close to beating Zero in game one. Oh, and then Modi. promptly got completely demolished in game two. Yeah. Right, no. So now, into actual gameplay. I, I, feel like, Robin. I feel like Robin would kind of struggle in this matchup. Because... Yeah, you know, Robin's worst, uh, the worst part of where Robin's good is obviously her movement speed, uh, or his movement speed in this case. Yeah. Uh, Robin's kind of always had trouble getting with his own two uh, characters. Once his own character. Also, there's also the, the jank factor, because there's just Pikmin that are just randomly immune to Robin's movement. Ooh, yeah. just down air out of shield just evaporates Such with purple Pikmin. Such a strong move. Yeah, purple Pikmin have always just hit like absolute trucks. I feel like uh, Robin really just needs to try her best to get uh, Olimar up to the point where uh, a kill confirm will hit. Almost gets, a, uh, almost gets the... the stuff from Arc Thunder. Also, hi, Brad. I wish you had been able to come out today. I would have loved to have seen you. This matchup is minus three for Robin. I am not shocked in the slightest. I feel like if uh, Robin doesn't get confirms like right away, this match is probably pretty, pretty, pretty difficult. Yeah, I'd imagine any character that relies on projectiles will have to. You did hear me your name, Brad. Depends on if the projectiles have piercing or not. Yeah, I would imagine that any character whose projectiles have higher priority than Robin's probably uh, Robin struggles against massively. Oh, I was talking about. What the... <laughs> did you see that? I did indeed. <laughs> and uh, oh, it's, looking, God. it's looking a little rough for Robin. That. Yeah, yeah. It's like. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel like this match is so impressive. Oh, What's a tactician I don't to even do? Think that that did anything wrong, really. Yeah, that's just. Also, Brad, I'm you. You can't recognize me off my voice. I'm I'm so sad. Stop the battle. This, uh, this definitely does look like a rough matchup. 
to see if uh, Robin, Robin, looks like I Dell is going to stay Robin for game two. Running it back. Three, Unfortunately, uh, two, I don't one, quite know what Robin's first plus two is. I'm going to root for Dell. His best. He should, <laughs> he, should, he should know better than me. So. Robin, Robin does his here. best. Ooh, gets the... Whenever Oliver's, sorry, whenever Oliver's do the, they do like up air strings and then they, then they like up the, ooh, the, yeah, up, the up air strings with the uh, Pikmin that hit hard is just always so brutal. Then they're covered. able to extend it. They're able to like follow you up there and then like up, they're, they're able to up the and then up air out of, and then up air. Oh my, this is. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is just unfortunate. Uh, really see. Kind of the downsides of uh, certain matchups. You see the yellow Pikmin are just sort of, the yellow Pikmin are staying around just because just because they're just the only ones not dying to the, yeah. to the electric moves. And unfortunately, uh, it's the only nice purple set up there. Oh my, that was purple a setup. one minute game. It's uh, unfortunate. Well, yeah. And, uh, just kind of just kind of unfortunate for Zelzeth and um, definitely a rough matchup. Yeah. I I don't really Very know what Robin well. is able to do in that matchup. Yeah, you know, just hundred percent just feels a uh, like very rough matchup for the character. Also, yes, Brad, I'm in uh, I'm in town for the week. I was talking about it on Discord a little while ago, but uh, it felt like most people couldn't come out, so <laughs> I felt a little bad. But I will be back out in uh, in June sometime. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am currently sitting at Slu right now. No, I am. Uh, I am in Slu right now. I would love to do remote commentary at some point, though. Honestly, uh, I'm kind of getting a second win for Smash. I am not free tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, I leave Friday, and I'm very packed up tomorrow on time. However, I will be back out in June at some point, so I will be able to come by then. I'll probably have about a week then, and I'll 100% commit some time to you guys. And uh, I'm going to grind Smash a little bit in between now and then. Uh, I went 0-2 today. It is uh, This is the first tournament in my life I've ever actually went 0-2. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. Even at, my, um, even at my first local back in like 2015, I didn't even go 0-2. But uh, I got stomped today. Uh, I played Cloud and Corrin. You know, my, my old classics. I've heard, unfortunately, that Cloud is aggressively mediocre. Or, well, Cloud's still good, but Corn is aggressively mediocre, I should say. Which is unfortunate, because I've been having a lot of fun playing her again. Yeah, you know, um, I can definitely still tell that the fundamentals are there. Um, I was actually, uh, I was playing friendlies with one of the clouds here, WK9, and um, it was really funny for me because uh, he was way better at cloud in this game than I, uh, I am, obviously, but I could still perfect auto-cancel my down airs every time, and he was like, I, I still can't do that no matter how much I practice it. Unfortunately for St. Louis, though, I taught him how to do auto-cancel down air while we were playing a friendly. I don't know if he's actually going to use it or not, but, you know... Uh, I showed him an easy way to do it. And Michael's... What? I'm getting kicked out. <laughs> Fine. I didn't know you wanted to come with anyways. Like I said, I would. Thanks. But uh, I do want to play Ultimate again more. Alright, I'm going to hop out. And uh, Please, I'll probably be playing online if you want to join. Leaving. I already fathered over. the next generation whenever I, uh, I taught Globo how to play. You know, I... Uh, I taught Global everything he knew, you know, and yeah, I learned from Brad. So really, Brad is the one pioneering all of Brad this. Brad was watching the stream. I don't know if he's still there. I know is. I'm talking with him right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was Brad was it. my Brad was my tutor. He remembers when I was a scrub, and then I got good, and then now I'm a scrub again. So you know, the, was, the revolving door. I was taught by uh, Sojo <laughs> and Healy. And um, you missed an absolute clinic, unfortunately. This was a this was a very rough matchup, Olimar versus Robin. Um, uh, I don't believe you, actually. I don't believe you at all. I bet a, it was an even matchup. Yes, this matchup is definitely even. I will. Uh, you can put me on commentary, clip it, and throw it in the Robin Discord so that they can crucify me. <laughs> uh, I forgot character discords exist, honestly. Um, yeah, Brad is the true grandfather of Smash. 
You were Donnie. Yeah. I, uh, I am Donnie's sad that you're here? not here. Donnie is here. I love Donnie. I love Donnie too. I was so sad when Donnie couldn't, uh, left, but I'm happy for him and that he's a, hey, in a good job. you also left. I did also leave, you're right. TL, I posted a clip and that was the entire game too. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, unfortunately too, I, I left right whenever I was really uh, hitting my stride. You know, I uh, I wish I had been able to keep playing. There's another screen but, attached know, life to this. stuff. What's that? There's another screen attached to this monitor, but it... see? Yeah. Don't. Oh, I want to go watch this clip. I can watch the clip now. I got Morley, and I don't even know who that is. All right, so we have our next set coming up. Let me check Smash GG so that I can get the names of the players correct. Uh, Morley versus somebody. I've already commentated one Morley set. How'd you get on stream twice, Morley? Oh my god. I'm watching game two, apparently. It was, it was ugly. It was ugly. This is horrendous. My god, he's already at a hundred bucks. And is this the game? Uh, game's been playing right now? It's not that one, is it? Yeah, Morley versus Echo. Oh, it's Echo! Morley, gotcha. There we go. Okay, so... Let's see... Oh, this is... Also, yeah, um, I would actually be happy to remote commentate if San Luis ever wants me to. I oh, will, yeah, uh, I will happily join. Chu gets people to do that all the time. Yeah. I, um, you know, St. Louis is still my, my home in the Smash scene, so, uh, as long as they're willing to have me, I'll actually work on getting to know the game better. Um, you know, I, I enjoy actively talking about it and stuff like that. How'd you do in Bracket? Uh, I went 0-2. I got oh, absolutely no. demolished. <laughs> I, uh, I was fighting uh, Healy, and um, what do you call it? I have never fought an Incineroar in this game. Oh, yeah. And I took 90% from one grab yes. because he revenged a yes. Tippercorn sma F smash yes. and uh, completely destroyed me. Yeah, that's about and how I it didn't goes. know. I, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I did find a neutral, um, but just. Uh, I kind of hit myself pretty hard. That's understandable. <laughs> That said, I'm going to uh, definitely go play some Smash whenever I get home. Stuff like that. I, I own the game. And I uh, just need to buy the DLC. I'd actually never lost a game to Healy before this, believe it or not. Back in the back in the Smash Four days, I uh, I played Healy multiple multiple times, and it was it was always very ugly. Uh, the receiving it for him, but uh, you know, I'm glad he got his day on me. All right, so we have Palutena versus uh, Snake. Got. I didn't know Echo played Palo. Oh uh, yeah. What, what round is this? This is, this is losers four. round four, I believe. Okay, well, I hope it's four. It's the round right before top end, so this is for ninth. It should be round four. I would imagine that this matchup is a lot of poking and prodding from both sides, you know, Palutena yeah. and uh, Snake with his grenades, obviously. Uh, Snake is a matchup that I have absolutely never Yeah, Snake well, Pro, I, I feel that. Uh, me and Dristin have only played one set in our entire life, and he fell out of Limit Cross Slash when he would have died. He'll, uh, he'll tell you all about it. Probably it was really funny. What tournament was that at? That was at a local. It was Bar Wars. Ah, uh, it was Bar Wars, yeah. yeah. Now, I would imagine. Kind of a bar. What's that? This is kind of we're, we're kind of in that's a bar. true. They we're don't have grill. alcohol, otherwise I would already grill. be buzzed. But yeah. Um, now I would imagine the rough part about this matchup between Snake and Palutena is that while they're both playing for a similar angle, um, you know, Palutena and Snake both kind of want to kind of want to prod at each other. Snake is actually like a heavy character, is really good at controlling center stage. So I would imagine it's kind of rough for Palutena to kill confirm on it with the super yeah. armor is up the yeah. how many anti. It also said, uh, Morley's playing quite well. Yes. Echo out. 
mids to interrupt the long range are yeah. very nice. And while Paolo likes to poke with her long range, obviously, her bread and butter is her combo game. Getting her, getting her down throw confirms, getting her, uh, her forward air. Scared of him. Scared of the letting go of Cypher. Always hold Cypher. Yeah. Always. Never give up. Dash attack does very well against Palutena. Yeah, Palutena's never had a super excellent amount of shield options. Or, uh, obviously, her speed and her projectile game are very impressive. Snake uh, obviously thrives in kind of a chaotic environment like that. I, I bet that was supposed to be a Nair. Forward aired on accident. Yeah. That said, St. Louis players should have an absolute absorbative amount of statements. To be fair, I don't think Echo is technically a. Uh, I just realized we're watching the. Uh, we're watching the old stream. We're like behind. So, unfortunate. To be fair, we weren't really talking about it. <laughs> at the same time. Game's already over. And yeah, that's kind of the St. Louis life with Pro. You know, we have so many weird matchups uh, here, from at least from whenever I was in, that uh, you'll never quite know what you're going to run into, especially if you're new. When uh, when Ultimate just came out and I was the only Snake player, that was a fun time. Nobody had any idea what he did. Except for Hylian. Hylian destroyed me so badly at a <laughs> tournament one day that I, like had to rethink what I was doing with Snake. I was like so good at autopiling it against people and Hylian just was Z catching my grenades and throwing them back and dropping them at me and I was like, I got, I got bops. It was bad. <laughs> I think uh, Snake is definitely a matchup that I am not that good at anymore. Um, obviously I never really played it before because he didn't exist. Uh, and Hylian projectiles are kind of counterintuitive to how I like to play Rushdown. Okay. So we have the Joker switch now. That's what I thought he normally played with Joker. That makes more sense. Imagine this is probably a matchup that's a little bit better. Joker with his uh, excellent kill confirms and fast rush down. They're honestly about the same, in my opinion, for both characters. Not a whole lot of... Uh, not a whole lot Joker's just a, so much faster Palutena. That's saying something, because Palutena's going pretty fast. Yeah, Joker with Arsene is very good at knocking Snake off of Cypher. Basically everything he does knocks Snake off yeah. Cypher. So far though, he's doing a pretty good job of keeping uh, Echo out. If he, uh, if he had hit that up there, it would have definitely been a kill. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the other nice thing about Joker in this matchup is that uh, Joker has the ability to uh, grab grenades and then counter. I don't know so how. So basically building free R's. Yeah, building free R's. I have no idea how that Nikita didn't hit Joker there, but I'm not going to question it. Yeah, Joker can just grab things that Snake does and uh, get free arson, and it's really easy to kill Snake above like 115. Yeah, yeah like that. Nice. We have a second arson coming out. I don't know if he knew about that like beforehand. And arson back air hits like an absolute great tree. Did you know arson back air is just the exact same thing as uh, cloud up smash but an aerial? Interesting. Same frame. That sounds absolutely completely broken. It's the same frame. Seven, and it's also like the same strength. It has a little bit lower base knockback, I think. Man, caught up air is a uh, frame seven. I did not know that. Caught up smash. No. Caught up smash. Yeah. Oh well, it wasn't. It was frame ten or eleven, and they buffed it. There, hot man. Yep. Right. Here, we're seeing. We're seeing Echo start to lead here. Uh, definitely not good for him. I didn't even realize I could have <laughs> Yeah, it started off. Uh, it started off a little bit dicey for the way here, but he's uh, doing quite well. Yeah, this is nice up smash. Quite a lot of damage. The other funny thing that's uh, snake kind of thrives in the environment of being 100% over you. So yeah, yeah, you can't you can't really counter in uh, in neutral like that because snake will just grab you. Snake has good things out of his grabs, but. A lot of snakes like to throw grenades when recovering, or throw like full length or like full stage grenades like that, and that's really easy to uh, just grab and 
to get free arson with. But if Morley... I was gonna say, if Morley can stay alive, then maybe you can just kill and that's exactly how you do it. Yep. We got arson immediately. Still doesn't kill him. Oh, what a bad here. Oh! He wanted it so bad. I would have hit that. No, I wouldn't. I'm bad. I love Echo Short Hops. His Tomahawk grabs with the Joker are so fast. Yeah. He's been doing a good job of getting on. Yeah. Honestly, he was doing, uh, doing an excellent job of keeping me in there. Just a snake's kick. Up throw. No, down throw. No. But we're seeing really the precedence of snake's recovery here. You know, 226% oh. each rough. Grenade kills him now, but not Joker F tilt. <laughs> <laughs> and that will take him out, yeah. yeah. Grenade didn't use one quite fair to use. Yeah. When Snake is too high for uh, C4 recovery, he can get really high and then pull a grenade and then air dodge directly up while holding the grenade. And then when the grenade explodes, it'll refresh his up B. So that's really the only thing Snake has once he's too high of a percent for his C4, but if he's too low to do that, then he's just yeah. dead. But let's be real, too high of a percent for C4 is quite high. It's not in this game. No? No, it, if you're at 140 below the stage and you C4 yourself, you'll die. Off the gotcha. top. They, uh, they definitely increase the kill power for C4 in this game. Which is good in like 99% of situations, but for his recovery, it uh, it does make it hard. We're seeing a little bit of a hero play here from Echo. Uh, definitely get a some offstage control. For a pop we are yeah. one snake grab away from the end of the game. Seven, so. yeah. Smash lands. He can get a second arson. Snake's infamous up tilt. He needs it. Okay, tomahawking with fast fires is indeed crazy broken. I think uh, it sure definitely was all criminally underused in Smash 4 for the first couple years of it. Ooh, look, he went from zero to two wins. That's how good that win was. I definitely didn't forget to do the first win. <laughs> Okay, I see a Tim Prater walking up, and I see an AK walking up. So Tim Prater versus Apollo. I always Hagen. look cute. No compliment for me? Tim Prater. Spamed Mario speedrunner Tim Prater. Tim Prater started speedrunning Mario 64 like a month ago, and he's already got a, uh, 18. Pretty good. No space? I got the AoE, don't worry. Oh wait, actually, no, hang on, let me fix this. Mario. Here, what does this look like? There we go, look, I'm so smart. Alright, so we've got Dr. Mario. Yes, Bryce, he does run. Smash 64. Oh, we got Oh, we got one. Uh, so we have Dr. Mario versus Tim. Yes. Dr. Mario versus Punk. Uh, the Snake. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I, I've gotten <laughs> over it. He can, does uh, speed run. Get back at me. At Leak. Who's this an area? Got very, very good, very, very quickly. Smash 64. Oh my god, I can't I keep saying it. Mario 64. Ooh, jab, jab up. up. Okay. Clean. Yeah, Nikita's. Unfortunately, kinda... Dr. Mario's recovery is definitely lacking. That just kind of calms. A little, bit of a, a little bit of chaos going on. Everybody's choosing violence right now. Both characters deciding that they want to be at 70% to start the stock. Let's see. I 
think off the attempts using the uh, kill is a very good way of getting in. It's like uh, jumping in through a mid range fight. He's using the mid range into areas. It's a really clean cool action. Aw, uh, Tim went for the uh, Tim went for the grenade explosion to the up air, and he almost got it. Nice parry, but Tim doesn't have a shield right now. There's the back air. Tim. Tim is breaking out the Kirby. Looks yeah, like he, play, he, he does. Oh, nope, Dr. Three, Mario is still. Two, one, he does run go. 16 stars. He said 17 stars is too long, which I do not disagree with. 17 stars is so long. It's like an hour and a half. Grenade's still managing to hit Tim there. Very well. It feels like without being able to hit a solid kill confirm it, but there it is. Let's say K runs to an up smash like that. He finally got the read. I don't know, is that even a read at the point? Uh, I feel it's like. It's a... <laughs> Just, Mario, he was about to hit one eventually, right? Dr. Mario has this weird thing with his Nair. We already talked about this last time, Tim was like. But Dr. Mario's Nair does more damage the longer it's out. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's like most, uh, most like lasting kicks like that get uh, get weaker as time goes on. But Dr. Mario is the opposite for whatever reason. I think that's because he's a doctor. It's definitely a thing in Smash Bros. I don't know. Wait, wait, no, Dr. Mario wasn't in Smash Bros. Right? Yeah. No, wait, was he? Was he? I think. Was Dr. Can we get anybody in chat? Can anybody confirm? Was Dr. Mario in Smash Bros.? I feel like he was, wasn't he? But he was really bad. No, he definitely was, because Foyo would switch between playing Normal Doctor and Dr. Mario. I remember. I that backhand, I saw down throw up tilt. It was just too good. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, that was very solid. He did that to me. And Tim has almost day. completely flipped the pace of this game. Um, securing that second second to take a that's a pretty solid percent. Tim's looking to take game two here. Tim right on the best of his grab. 100 percent to G. And the best way of dealing with snake landing with grenade is just running up and grabbing him. There. He has a grenade. That said, he can't snake really is a pretty good comeback character. So. Oh, 
both characters definitely firmly at kill percent now. Ooh, there's a back. Almost, throw. almost. There it oh, is. Okay, we are 1 1 now, boys. You look spicy, Sam. And do we have, um, is it best of five in winter semis? I feel like it's still best of three. But... I feel like it's best of three, right? Yeah. Wait, was it Dr. Mario wasn't in Brawl? Yes, Dr. Mario was not in Brawl. That's what it was. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like, um, that's two throws that Tim had this set that might have killed between pummels. Um, you know, I think that the first, uh, it's best of five? Okay, thank you, Wolf Pro. I don't believe Wolf Pro. They're best of three? Ah, okay, okay. see, there you go. <laughs> Never trust Wolf, Wolf Pro. Wolf Pro with the, uh, with the reversal on us here. Never trust Um... Me. Yeah, if there was a grenade, then I definitely think the back air right away was a, a good idea. There was definitely a, an F throw on the uh, the first set game, though, that I think yeah. if he had pummeled, it would have killed. Doc does have the Ukrainian pills. He does have the Ukrainian pills. Um, something you need to know about uh, Snake that I bet you probably don't know. If there is an active grenade on the ground and you pummel, the pummel hitbox will trigger the grenade and detonate it. Understood. So, if See. you grab Snake and there's a grenade, you cannot pummel him. But what if I want to, uh, what if I've just chosen violence, and I want us just to both be damage? Well, that's not bad, but you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna take a lot more damage. I should play Pyra? Uh, I've thought about it. I've thought about really it. Good. They're really good. They're really good. I wanted to, at least for my first storm, and try and get my, um, to, you know, quell my inner tier, uh, uh, my inner tier uh, demon. I need to play top tiers. I didn't even realize how strong of a star tip had, and now it's all gone. Now. <laughs> yeah, the one, uh, the one grenade confirmed to fair definitely uh, you know, did 60% almost. But Temp's still doing a good job keeping his weapon up here. Um, I will he really has a. It feels like he's really found a way of getting it on AK. <laughs> and these hard reads are. Oh my god. Really Really starting to kind of get to him. I do want to clarify that I will be very upset if Tim beats uh, AK with his Dr. Mario. But if he does, I'm going to claim credit for it. I think that pills that are yellow and blue should do twice as much damage currently in support of your yeah. Yep, yeah, C4 was right and smack dab in the center of the map there. Yeah, but see, Donnie, there's a, there's a certain charm to me still playing Cloud now and, uh, you know, not being a complete, like, you know, top two. Also, yeah, Tim, Tim is playing. If Tim wins this, I'm taking credit because he beat the hell out of my snake for like an hour on Wi-Fi on the day. It wasn't a fun time. I gave up on and, uh, It really does feel like Tim's found a way to just get in on AK and control. I'm not sure what he changed up. There's the stick. He's stuck. He has the C4 on him, but he no longer has the C4 on him. AK was in the back here on the That said, uh, AK has definitely brought the game back to an even state. Yep. Right back to where we were. Uh, and I feel like at even percentages, AK is slightly ahead. That said, both characters definitely can't kill pretty soon here. Oh, and that's an uptilt right out. there. Unfortunate and grab. Uh, this is now Okay, okay. Oh, That's just sad. barely. That would have kill. killed. This would have been much closer to the game than what it is looking like. Yep. Yeah, now with the 80% lead, it's going to be a very rough return. Not the thing right now. The fact that you killed. I was going to say you can't. Oh, do and that. the C4, C4 with there. almost security. Nice That's okay. Kill. Okay. It is doable. It is doable. Snake into a snake. And that was a. I think that's the best set we've had tonight so far. Uh, definitely, a it's very good. Very close these. set. Always good to see these two play. Alrighty, and for the next set, it looks like we're going to be getting, I believe, Domen versus. Yeah, 
No, that was seed one there. versus two, or that was seed one versus four. This is probably seed two versus three. Yeah. If I had to guess. So this set is looking like Luma versus Domens. Yeah, we're gonna be getting a good set here. Also, uh, something not said earlier. Uh, Tim did indeed upset Colorado on his way to AK. He did that with uh, Doc, by the way. Yeah. Doc versus so, uh, pretty good set went by. Uh, pretty good set went by Tim there. Uh, off stream, it looks like uh, Morley was 2 0'd by Colorado. Currently, Joe Mama and Zethan are playing on the other end of top eight there for uh, lose quarters. Not right, lose quarters, lose round six. It's looking like the next set, uh, the loser of this set will play Colorado, so we should have pretty good sets coming up here. I believe that all of uh, losers' quarters from onward will be uh, will be on stream, right? I have no idea. Three, two, one, go! Let's see what happens. Alrighty, so. Probably played a lot. I don't. I feel like this matchup would be rough for Rob. Probably not. Rob's got some stupid stuff in this game. Morley is not still a brawler. Uh, I saw him playing Snake multiple times today. Yeah, he played it against that Snake against Echo. Did you know? I got my shield broken by a Solomar the other day. You got your what? I got my shield broken by an Olimar without an Echo. Uh -huh. That does sound kind of rough. Uh, doesn't, uh, is it purple? Still quite a lot of damage. You shouldn't have any Pikmin. You got your show broken by a Pikmin. Yeah. That is a little rough. Yeah. You should have bought a, you should have bought a mortal shield there. Yeah, I should have had I've a heard that that gives you a, an extra shield to use. Should have bought a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> Melman is on his purple Pikmin army. Yeah, he's got a, a whole army of purple Pikmin. He has just decided to, uh, hit like an absolute truck. So, one thing that we might see if Doman wins, uh, Pikmin brings items back to you in this game. So, Interesting. Uh, Pikmin can, I don't know about pops, but Pikmin can bring back grenades to, to all of our blow them up. Maybe since tops have their own, like, hitbox in the alien, it might yeah, be, it like might be different. Yeah. Unfortunately, Olimar has to throw away his purples to be able to recover. Kind of quite a good close match right here. I feel like he can dive straight in, but I, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I feel like the tops cannot be brought back because uh, they hurt the poor little big yeah. box here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if he has. It definitely feels like there's a lot of like uh, personal points here. I get the vibe of uh, these two have each other for sure. Yeah. Said though, uh, considering both of these both characters want to rack up big percent from the distance, I thought the three get was pretty good, so it doubled the emphasis for some of the Excellent. Wow. Up smash there. Zero Zero three. Or up smash. Yeah, the up smash the one is the up smash. The up smash is the up smash. What is happening to the top? You see that? Yeah. The pickers were like bonking the top <laughs> into the air. It feels like the AI is trying to. See, I have uh... Yeah, Donnie, it's been like a. It's been actually excellent. So, so this is Honestly, Donnie, I think that we were starting to get this good towards the end of Smash 4. However, um, 
we just didn't have that much uh, like practice initially, you know? Like I only started leveling up because I played Chicago and uh, online so much. That is very true. People play uh, Wi-Fi a lot more because of COVID and Ultimate than yeah. uh, anyone ever did. In Smash 4, we were all just playing each other and Trent was playing Chicago. Nobody was really playing Wi-Fi when everyone was just playing themselves. So if nobody's really, like, really good, you can't really improve. Yeah. That's fast. And, you know, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like, once we start again, oh, so. now that everybody's been playing Wi-Fi so much that so we've actually, like, gotten to level up from other people. Yeah, you know, uh, St. Louis still definitely has the same local atmosphere. I, I've been enjoying a lot of being back. Um, obviously, I'm not really going to work so I don't get as much. But, uh, I've been enjoying being back. Alrighty, we got the start of game two. Uh, pretty good start to get. Uh, was, I want to say that like, uh, uh, edge control is excellent. So every time he's got to uh, carry anybody he's got to like, on the edge, he's done it. He's pretty much racked up 50% of this every time. Drop back here is more prime. That move is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Rob's a... Uh, Rob's a big one. Like, just control. Once he gets you out of your control, just seems very aggressive in this game. What a smash. He bumped a really, really good performance by there. He bonked off the uh, the ledge by using his back air into the ledge and then yeah. jump side beat. That was nice. Quite a good. What a what a silly mashup. Who are we gonna have? Are we gonna do winners finals now? or Are we gonna do something else? Yeah, Brad, it's awesome seeing uh, it's awesome seeing how good the people in St. Louis are now. Honestly, it makes me want it makes me want to grind again. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Luma Luma hits his co confirms so reliably. It's actually uh, crazy to watch. Quarters, yeah.
Chu. Chu. Uh, do we have every, uh, like, loser's quarters onward? Are they all gonna be on stream? Gotcha, gotcha. It's playing over there. Does anyone else love Chew? I love Chew. First time chat. I love Chew. I'm yeah, sorry, Chew's Hatsu. been uh, Chew's killing it. I'm sorry, Hatsu. Chew walked too far away. I'm not but I want you all to know I've been. Uh, Oh. I've been giving up on my loaded nachos that I had over here. I haven't eaten them in oh. an hour. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the same spot they were in when I... <laughs> I haven't touched them at all because I've been commentating. Uh, I wish I was free tomorrow, Brad. Unfortunately, my, my whole day's not. Oh. This was the, the free time I set aside for Smash. Three, oh, shit, hang on, two, one, uh, go! I have, a, I have a name for him. Oh, no. Michael was uh, sleeping in the job. But I believe that this is uh, Colorado versus Dome. Yep. So. And I have the loser's quarters, right? And I have the game count, right? There's not the names yeah. wrong. <laughs> Most important part. So, this is also a matchup that a lot of St. Louis people are used to seeing Colorado and Dome playing each other. Basically, any combination of Dome and Colorado, Lula, and AK have played each other so many times. And I have absolutely zero idea what AK does. Uh, I have never seen it. This character, so kind of the first time. Inkling is a strange character in the sense that not a lot of oh, got the re grab there. Down there. Not a lot of uh, top players play them anymore, but it's still a good character, which is weird because like uh, Cosmos was the biggest rep for Inkling in back when the game came out, but ever since Pirate has he hasn't touched them. Yeah, I mean, you know, realistically, there's a lot of characters in Seems and Ultimate that are good, but uh, whenever you have characters like Pyre, Bither, and Joker, you want to play those characters. Yeah. Especially when your job is to win tournaments. Nice. Uh, yeah. sort of As a top professional, there's always the incentive to, you know, play those best. That's a, you know, uh, Doman has been playing very well, I would say. Uh, I really think that the last set was indicative of his All the games I've seen have been I have two of them down to buff Pythra. I, also I like watching the world burn, so you know. I, I think we should like go back and buff Smash for Bayonetta as well. Honestly, an excellent up Smash. From He's got the purple Pikmin army. And now he's buried. And now he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Geek Kid did indeed play Ike, I believe, all day. So, I don't know if you know about this, but remember in, uh, remember in Smash 4, uh, if you got buried, uh, you take half knockback? Yes. Yeah, that's not a thing anymore. Understood. That's rough. So, characters that have berries have full damage on their berries. And that is uh, unfortunate. Donkey Kong. But also Donkey Kong's good at abusing it, but the characters that are really good are uh, Inkling, who has Barry on her roller, and Rob, who has Barry on down throw, are two of the best characters for the uh, abusing. I want to call it new, but it's been the game's been out for three years. It's not new anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's new for me. If, yeah. Um, that's a call. Uh, definitely done a good job of uh, regaining the advantage here. It's kind of been kind of exposed for the past about uh, 30 seconds or so. And, uh, nice back air. Back air. Colorado just back air the ledge. Uh, DL is lying. Uh, you do still take less time back than Barry and Burr historically. Burr, I don't believe you. Is it less than half? Is it still uh, upgraded from half? I'm pretty sure you don't. It might be like 
I am a neutral bystander here. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> for, I don't know. I don't know about that for. That one's at 174, though. Yeah, he is living. This is, uh, this is getting a little bit dangerous for both sides. Colorado still has a bit of to kill. And he lived. He gets the up air. The uh, back air will take air. it, though. Very, very close match. Very, very good and, match. Uh, I think that my coach should have the Hey, that's a, that, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Smash. Ultimate. Very. Oh my god. I forgot to write the score. <laughs> Ready. Almost an early kill there from the combo. Yeah, that's set though. Domin has this uh, he's got triple and double red, so he should be having quite a lot of damage on him right now. Smash 4, you take you took 30% less knockback, but in Brawl and Ultimate, you still take full knockback. So yes, I was I was still right about that one. So yeah, Colorado's, this Colorado's combo in this game has just been absolutely disgusting. Every combo he's got is right. This one is going to be the start. But the other thing about Inkling's roller is if Inkling uses up smash out of roller, then it doesn't even matter if there was knockback or not because. Inkling's up smash is a single hit into another hit. Nice. This is such a good such a good set from Colorado right now. He's playing so well. So Inkling almost has a, a wave dash. Oh yeah, do you know do you know what Inkling's uh, ink mechanic is? Yes. Okay. That one I do. Just making sure. You're reading that right at the start. <laughs> yep. And you know, Colorado is a get the slide. Domin's last stop. And uh Domin is being a rough position in the So said I think uh think this is a situation to uh, not a little or anything, just uh definitely Domin needs to get his ink back. Not have very much There's the ship. Yeah. Okay. Good. And Domin has been living quite quite late. And there's the forward air. Forward air. Forward air? Forward air is the kicks, back air is the gun. Gotcha. They look, or they're both very fast. And a clean set from Colorado. Uh, good games by Domus as well. I think he uh, played quite well today. Hi, Chu. Hatsu says he loves you. Hatsu, remember when he ding donged you? <laughs> I don't know if he's still in the chat. That was a while ago. I don't know why I remembered. AK and Luma, winners, finals. Follow Kage. Follow Kage for 
system uh, set in St. Louis has seen multiple times, but then it's my first time doing it. Yeah, we've seen this set a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Chew, I have a special request. Can you get me more diet Pepsi? Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Chew coming in absolutely. Go sure. turn! What? Wait, what's the sponsor? Uh, Cockles. I think it all caps. Oh, gotcha. Make sure. <laughs> so, I did not expect um, either of these characters. Well, Puma has been playing the Joker occasionally today. Uh, I believe that he's more used to this is, uh, I believe that he can't worry Maybe, uh, I'm not quite sure about the Joker it's... it's whatever. I don't know anything about this matchup. I would know a lot more about the character if I could play really say much about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm assuming just the outline. Well, for Joker's obviously a you know, kind of a sorty. Yeah, definitely is very brawl. Joker's dash attack. Joker's dash attack with uh, Arsene is so good. Very impressive. He's got to get the stock pretty soon. I can't risk it. He definitely wants to get a uh, get the stock before the second person. Yeah. Which is uh, definitely coming soon. One counter. But there we go. Good up smash, good up smash. The run up of smash. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Blaze. Uh, this matchup doesn't sound like that for a run up. And I have no idea what Snake uh, Joker's like. So let's see the, the development. He got the revert, or he got the, uh, the frontest hitbox of back air, so he got a grab from it. Yeah, Arson. Yeah. Might be a little more rough for the board. Do you know how Arsene works? Uh, to an extent. Well, besides, besides turning his uh, his counter that builds Arsene into like a real counter plus... It turns into a real counter and a reflect at the same time. Yeah, I actually learned that it was a reflect today in uh, my first one set against a Joker. I threw a uh, blade beam at a Joker and I promptly died. Yeah, yeah that'll um, happen. So I, I learned that one hard way. Um, Besides that, uh, yeah. if he has Arsene uh, and he gets hit by anything, literally anything, he loses a bit of the Arsene meter. So it, it goes away over time and it goes away from getting hit. Oh, this is an excellent fire. The snipe. Yeah, AK is a very solid in this matchup that I have no experience in. <laughs> Yeah, the backwards. The backwards forms. Unfortunately. A bear of speech. Mario can make it through this arson without getting killed, then that would be a success in my book. Mario obviously has a some combo game. Basically, an entire stock pack. I think this is going to be very good for him. I think he's going to stop this kid before he's going to start something. And he got it. Yep. He's going to execute his stuff as an extra person. It's like he's been there. He's been there. But he's not right now. He's actually going to be good. Mario doesn't really have that. I take it back. I was going to say, Mario doesn't have that many random kill you buttons, but he just kind of randomly killed him, so I mean, I don't know.
I told you, I don't know anything about sometimes this Sometimes Mario, uh, sometimes Mario just doesn't, you know. There's a Healy approaching me. You know, sometimes Healy will hit me with a random move. Stop the battle! Mario! I think they're staying right here. They are indeed. Ooh, but he has a skin switch. That means he's getting pretty serious for the, uh, the Joker match with his also, hi A2. Yes. I rocked your tag in every set I played today. But you went O2. But I went O2, so it wasn't that many. O2 and A2. <laughs> uh, AK really does feel oppressive. He's close range of brawling. Brawling setups. You know, we might want to see a little bit more poking my product from the right set rush down. You know, I feel like that was actually a good thing. He's always selling at that time. It said Arson confirms to quite well. Basically, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, and that uh, might have been a little bit. Yep. I'm going for the hard read of the S-Mash. Almost got it. I thought AK was about to do that. S-Mash is completely unpunishable. I thought AK was just about to smash again. <laughs> Is pretty quiet. That should be better right there. Yeah. Move my uh, the mic closer to my mouth. I also don't want to be too loud because the the, the thing about this commentary setup is since we are here in person, uh, the players can hear us talking because we're like ten feet away max. So we don't want to be yeah, not even loud. Normally I'd be screaming, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty soft spoken in general anyway, so. And, uh, you know, AK, right, you know, just building up a lead. Um, the Joker dash attack not killing this time. Yeah, but that oh, this forward tilt most certainly will. And still having Arson, quite a, quite a good set for Kuma. Um, that said, uh, AK hitting him with the infamous Mario up smash. AK standing under the platform to protect himself AK from, with the, uh, uh, guns down. AK's just done a very good job of converting off any hit he's got from neutral. Uh, well, I feel like both character players have kind of won neutral at like, similar rates. Um, AK's just done such a good job of uh, getting more off of it, it feels like. I can just turn off DL's mic? Well, I can solo commentate for you too. If this was Smash 4, that would probably work pretty good. But, uh, Michael has been informing me quite a lot about the game, <laughs> so you know, uh, unfortunately, my commentary would probably be very scuffed without him. <laughs> A2 is a real, you can't hurt me. <laughs> that said, uh, I'm gonna go grind this game whenever I get home, and I will hopefully know more about the game <laughs> if I ever do remote commentary. Mario really wanted that, uh, that house smash, and he almost got it. Joker is that. Very scary. Luna's doing a, a good job of just, you know, not dying here. And, uh, just inching every little bit of percent that he can get uh, onto the stock of AK before he, uh, you know, never loses this one. Mario, short hop back air, fastball back air, short hop back air, fastball back air towards somebody. This is so funny to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mario's frame data is just so impressive in close range. Uh, that's really the first, uh... Oh, yeah, Ooh, fast AK fast 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 too far. Uh, it's really yeah, the first call-out that Lumos had this set that's worked immediately. Everything else Lumos getting is this solid, firm game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for the first time it really... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought okay, that was almost heartbreaking. Uh, and for the first time in this set, it really... You know, Luma really has taken a lead, it feels like. It. Uh... Doing a good job here of uh, edge control against AK. Just uh, 
wreck a good amount of percent. Stage against Mario, I'm always nervous. Quicker turn to neutral though. Uh, Luma's just, just killing with this last stock. Uh, Arson's coming up quite soon. The, uh, yep. That's a little bit nerve wracking for AK, I'm sure, in this position. Uh, so obviously, Arson's going to open up uh, Luma's kill options quite dramatically. Uh, that said though, uh, AK's turned quite a good amount of percent here. And Arsene is now gone. gone. So we're like getting almost nothing out of the person here. I feel like he got like 1% and I don't even know how. Yeah, now it's just uh, back to a game. And, uh. Up throw. Up throw. Not killing. Uh, AK going for the same move that killed last game, but. Uh, that's not Double jump back air. This really does feel like anybody's game. Man, that'll do it. Oh, no. That is tragic for Luma. Mario wins. So close, but unfortunately so far too. There's anything quite like Smash 4 Bayonetta in this game, so. We'll just wait till you get to play against Steve. No, Steve's not even that close to that bad. <laughs> Forward throw. Thank you. 200%. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've heard I've heard things about, you know, like Pirate Gear and Joker, obviously. None of them have felt quite Smash 4 Bayonetta. Nice, back air, back air. Good, back air. AK and the Fireball. Oh, fireball, that is the third stock in these three games that AK has secured. With just a very AK's good fireball fire. game coming out just as really showing his mastery of projectiles. <laughs> that said, uh, Lua is an excellent job for this time as well. It really feels like Lua is getting a lot of his neutral players. But uh, I really want to see him uh, have a little bit of a closing with the stocks. It feels like he's let AK live for just a bit too long. Oh! Uh, oh. It's just tragic. The side B instead of the up B, all drifting. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I really feel like we're seeing you know, it's just a little bit less comfortable with this character than that.
I'm gonna hop out of here. Jew, we're gonna go home. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, we have to hop off. Uh, gotta head out. Michael is my ride, so I'm gonna go with him. I got but, work uh, It was morning. excellent seeing everybody today. Uh, I will be coming back in June. If anybody wants to stop by, I'll say hi. I'll try to be less of a scrub by then. Um, so I was 100% a scrub this time. So good seeing everybody again. And I, uh, I hope you guys have a, a wonderful time playing today. And good seeing you, Donnie. I miss you, Donnie. I miss you, A2. Hit me up on Discord. We'll, uh, we can play online sometime. See you guys. I'm just, I'm in the same place as well, so I shouldn't be too hard to find. And see you guys. See you, A2. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hi gamers, how's it going? It is the Chew on the mic, watching the cringe players play a cringe game. Um, I haven't actually commented in a really long fucking time, so hopefully it doesn't go this. Hopefully the set isn't that bad. But we saw Tip Freighter actually play this game in winners quarters, so I'm actually I'm actually super interested to see if CA could actually put any. An adaptation to the set? Maybe. I don't know. I, I think Dr. Mario is like a super weird character, so it's like really, really hard to like kind of keep up the a good mentality against him. Hi Burger. Hi Hatsu, remember when I ding donged you? That was the first time I remember. Oh, but see it taking the first stock. All the people I have come doing commentary, or could do commentary, all left me, so now I'm very depressed. I'm tired, I'm like, oh. It's always like this in the other tournaments. That's why I have no commentary for the most part, because they always have to keep up the a really good air. Hatsu is cringe, yeah, I agree. Uh, Ganondorf does down tilt up air. He's Ganondorf. He's literally just better than Ganondorf. <laughs> this made the whole cash couch laugh at me. <laughs> Hi, Mitchell. Are you guys all in the same place? I think you're at Hatsu's house, right? You went to the local? Did you guys lose? Jab going off for Inkling, doing a lot of percent. This is, uh, he's basically about to flame horizon, uh, Dr. Mario. It's actually, it's so hard for Dr. Mario to get anything outside of um, what he doesn't have a lead. Up smash for Colin, again, 3-1 now. Super, super scary. Me and Luke, Mitchell are late. Tahoe? Oh, I see, I see. It's your house, right, Hatsu? You got seven? I'm so proud of you. You know, I'm staring at AK and Luma, and none of them want to come on commentary with me. It's crazy. And they're all just staring at the game, but they don't want to talk. They're just talking to each other. Double eliminated by Steve? That's cringe. Down tear. Oh, he didn't do it. Or he just did it badly. Yep. Tim and I went to a bar tournament. 
Mitchell. This is the tournament that I invited you to. But, like, it was single elimination, um, also random seeding. And I played Tim round one, and it was so cringe. Or technically round two, because I got a buy. But it was still very cringe. Colin is playing godlike right now. He's just played. I mean, he's playing Inkling, so as godlike as he can be with Inkling. I think he'll probably still win, but it's going to be hard. Yeah, I mean, it is the best of five, though, so. It's. Definitely a lot. He has a lot of time to make the adaptation, but so does Tim. Tim is a, definitely a player that will download you and say you get the chance. But I also do think it's a little bit harder. Uh, I think Dr. Mario is definitely a best of three character, and not a best of five character for sure. Hello, young Schubert. Hello, A2. Can you fix the game? The game sounds are super loud. Yeah, I can fix the game. The game is super loud, or is my mic not loud enough? Because I can also increase the sound of my mic. I had a gain filter. Do I sound better now? I put like six decibels under my mic. And I lowered the game value. The mic isn't loud enough. I mean, I could, I can increase my mic. Is it just also your TV's just shit? It could just be your TV's shit as well. Oh, I can't curse in my own stream. I forgot. Might be. Is this still semis? Yes, this is winner. This is loser semis. The mix was perfectly fine before. Wow, Hatsu's actually just like inting me right now. Is the mic too loud now? Is it better? Okay. The game style was loud compared to DL and Trent as well. Is it. Am I loud? Is it fine for me now? I mean, so this is like the first time I've been using my mics. And usually, actually, before, like, my, double mic inputs have been actually like very, very bad. But I'm also speaking a lot louder than probably uh, DL and Trentor, which is a loud person in general, so. Hey, Chu, you're too loud. Can you shut up? Oh, thanks, Marma. Um, give me a second. Okay. Anyways, how are you guys? Tim is actually doing a really great adaptation of this set, so... Did anyone see the meme in chat? Doc is the best character always has been. I mean, yeah, especially with the hands of Tim. But C8's making it, uh, Doc's life a living hell right now because he's honestly making it so that he can't get it at all. It's kind of scary. It's one of those situations where I feel like you're just stuck. In all honesty, you're so stuck. It's it's really hard to get in on a character. Can we restart bracket? Just start and miss the first half. Thanks. Well, what you can do, Hatsu, is you can. Um, You can come all the way to St. Louis, and then I'll enter you in the bracket, so I can ding dong you again, and you can go to. How's that sound? That's 2-0 for C8. This is the best of five, though. Uh, Tim definitely seemed like he yeah, was in the driver's seat for a little bit. Uh, definitely was a lot better than the last game, but I think C8's just kind of gotten in a little bit of the download here. It's a lot easier now for C8. You can kind of see the tier difference, but Tim's doing a really good job with this little tier. I miss remote commentary, but no one wanted to do it today, which is really sad. I feel like a lot of people were here, usually. Ah, so I ding dong you in this game, by the way. Oh, $100 money match? $100. $100, you mean. I definitely can ding dong you. Trust me. <laughs> I no, I'm telling Hatsu that I could probably ding dong him in this game too. 
Wow, thanks for commentating with me, guys. This is great. What dudes? You can't commentate with, with me? You want me to be alone? Lumen, you want to come talk with me? You want to come hang out with me? You're talking about the game anyways. You might as well talk about it in the microphone. But you can you can have my mic, and I'll just talk in between both of you. Bring a chair. Bring a chair over. I'm I'm in the middle. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's no. Just come here. This dude's for real playing D Mario, bruh. Hero Dittos. You don't have to wear the mic. I mean the, the headset, by the way. Because it's just the... Tim! Oh no. Oh! You did not- that was so extra. <laughs> you heard his- Tim just dove for the money, dude. <laughs> He's chasing the bag that he already earned. <laughs> oh wow, it's a C8, Luma, and AK top three once again. <gasps> it's as if, too bad this isn't PR'd, haha. Haha. -ha. Till next, I mean like they wanted to have this one season PR, but I was like, what's the point? To have a one season PR. We have a PR. Like, the fact that we had a full PR season was already crazy. Huh? What? About what? When is PR return? Next month. You mean a one month? Yeah, they wanted a one month mini season. I did not want to do that. It was, that's not worth it. It's, I would not want to do another four month season because that was, shit was ass. Yeah, I, no, so three months was our normal seasons. And then, so, and I would rather not just do a one month season. That's just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Three is the magic number, so I'd rather just I'd rather just wait. Like literally just play randoms, yeah. Be like get better at the characters that you want right now, especially since tournaments are coming back. You want to use this time to like work on your secondaries. Like it really doesn't like the only thing that really matters is the money. And even then it's like what? Like <laughs> first place gets like ninety bucks here today. I don't know. How much how much money does first place make? Five fifty, sixty, seventy, ninety, ninety bucks. Yeah. One month is an off season, that's perfectly fine. And that's like that's why Luma's going Joker, and you're playing Mario. I mean, you, you can also just turn off your brain. Woohoo! There's always characters in, in bracket that you want that you can just turn off, your, especially against like bad players that you can like, like not care as much, but you can just play the game. Like if you play their like game plan or their flow chart, you still win, and it's easier to win. So you can conserve your energy for the good players. I'm telling you, actually, yeah, go Mario early in bracket so you can conserve your energy. Honestly, because that's like, imagine, like this. So, like, Geef plays Bowser in Ike, right? I think he's his Ike, he wants to play his Ike against better players because he, like, wants to put in a mentality where he's, like, not mashing as much. But then he also, like, loses a lot more against, like, bad players with Ike. You know what I mean? Oh, that's... Yeah. 
Also, also, I just saw Inkling like like be in low tier right there. What the heck? He, he charged us for so long, and then just. Billy's doing a two month season? I mean, two months, I guess, is okay. It's okay. Yeah. I'd rather, like, we we have the time, like, right? And it's, it's uh, on the Smash Wiki, I don't need ever, ever update that. That's like a Quilly thing. I, I'm pretty sure that's a Quilly thing. I never update that. I update the um, Smash EG, and that's it. Which is, on honestly, the one that makes the most, like, is the most important. Wow. That, I, every time I see, like, a. A Rob, like early up B, I'm like, damn, is this a thing that Rob can do? He can just be anywhere he wants, huh? Rob early up B is a thing. Commits that coach. <laughs> Commentator's coach. <laughs> yeah, at least at least Luma's not talking to us anymore. Mid set, right? Okay? <laughs> Down smash is gonna take it though. <laughs> You know, you know what I developed as a Smash 4 player is different ways to tilt my opponent, and like I just, I like, I don't taunt. I'll just like make IRL reactions over exaggerated, so my opponents get tilted as hell. No, I'm like, I'm like, I'll like start laughing if the if they die to a really dumb thing, and then they just get so tilted. And in Smash 4, it mattered a lot, because when you get tilted, you just play worse. So, like, this person's just, like, so mad, and they always leave the venue. Like Hatsu, remember Hatsu? Remember when you left the venue after I dinged on you? Yeah, Hatsu was from Wala. Morley. Can you get me soda? Diet Pepsi. Thank you. Dr. Bob. Anyways. <laughs> Is there a soda called Dr. Bob? This is a Rouse brand type. Triple rip -off. It's in step 23 is one third of the flavors in Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you only got 13 of the 23 flavors. <laughs> I'll smash taking the Luma going up one, three stocks to one. See, I feel like when these two play, it's like... I actually think it's so funny that we have like one of the best robs and then CA just loses the robs out of state all the time. So I'm glad that he's able to like kind of learn the matchup a little bit more or have some type of focus. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so evil, dude. It's so funny. Thank you. Do you think Arma like timed himself like with a clock? Cause it's for 600. How long is 600 seconds? How long is 600 seconds, guys? I don't actually know. 10 minutes? Oh my god. You know, I didn't take a math class for like. For, <laughs> I didn't take a math class for like four or five years when I was in college. <laughs> you know, I was, I was like, I was in, I was in AP Calc, right? <laughs> I, I was AP Calc. I tested out of AP Stats, and then I go to college, and they're like, you don't need to take any more math classes. They're like, sick. And then I just forgot how to do math, because then I only wrote papers. I, I got an A. I got an A in AP Calc. And Stats. Actually, no, I got a D in AP stats, but I got a 4 on the AP exam, so it was like... I, it's hard. Yeah, it's super hard. I was like, I, this stuff is the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. It's so bad. I think it worked out for you, though, on honesty.
Honestly, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it was definitely a, for you specifically, it was definitely a smart idea. You're just, you're able to ride. Goose, you want to play against STL players? Just come to STL. Five head. Huh? Gooses. Goose, is this your first tournament ever? You've never been to a local before in your life? I'm a new player and I've never played any character. Hello, my name is. Hello, remember when I made the Hero Brian meme? I was, like, when Steve came out, like, hello, my name is Hero Brian. I am a SEL native, but I've never been to a Smash tournament ever in my life. I love, I love Steve from Minecraft. Hero Brian. <laughs> I am Steve. <laughs> Should have beaten Justin. Who's Justin? 21? The... Also, how did Goose Fancy? You can't, you don't know who, who tw uh, Justin is because you've never been to a local in your life. You're actually commentating the game? I'm like, I like turned off my brain this entire time. <laughs> We're talking about math classes. <laughs> <laughs> I love math, dude. <laughs> What's 600 divided by 10? <laughs> Is he not? What the heck, bruh? Dude, you're cringe. Who said my name on stream? Um, it was Joe. Yep. You know, I've actually, like... Actually, I can't say that on my school stream, I just realized. Rock. And so is Steve's. Steve is also like Fortnite. Smash is just Fortnite. Because you're just building a wall. Do you think Donald Trump liked Fortnite? Because he wanted to build a wall all the time, so he's just like... <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not controversial. That was not controversial. I'm just saying what he's... <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Isn't there a tournament this weekend? I got it. When's the next, when's the next, like, regional? Isn't there the zoo coming? <clears throat> yeah. Is Lua? I want to go to Lua so bad. He got moved. Xanadu homecoming? I mean, I'm not going to go to Xanadu. Isn't Summit this? Oh, Summit is this weekend, isn't it? That's kind of what the. What's ST Pats, Blaze? They're like midterms? Or what? PAT, what's Pats? Oh, St. Patty's. Oh, so you're gonna party, Blaze? Wow, but every time I see, oh my god, he was about, he was about to, uh, friend, well, who was the person that he beat? Um. <laughs> I just know my arm. <laughs> I just know. They're so serious. <laughs> oh my, I just. And they spell with L. This is just. Oh wait, MK. Leo. Leo, Lumo.
What's MK? Oh. That's actually so neat. Oh my god. Why does Rob do this? I swear, this is gonna go to game five, and I'm gonna we're gonna be stuck here. Like usually, we're, I'm always like, oh look, we're gonna be ending before eleven, and then someone goes to game ten, and then we can't leave forever. Like it's a TO's nightmare for close sets to happen. I'm gonna be very honest. Can we hold a Nickish after bracket? Nick at night. I don't even party like that, but promise my friends I actually hang out. Blaze, I think you just... When will Blaze party like that? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that was the worst meme in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna delete this bot after <laughs> <laughs> this is my commentary reel, guys. BGBC hit you up to do an English stream for some French turn. It starts at 5 a.m. Saturday morning. That's not worth it, dude. Wait, I mean, if the, if the bag is the, is good enough, I guess, maybe. It was the bag, like... Dude, I have to wake up. I have a meeting tomorrow at 10, 10 o'clock, and I... We're just, ta we're just talking. <laughs> Dude, I, I bet this commentary has been the most entertaining thing that's happened all stream. I'll be very honest. I'll be honest though. The less people that come to the tournament, I'm always like, eh. That means I'm gonna go home earlier. Like. I was not envious of Trip when Moonbase had like a hundred people, because then he's just there, like forever. Like, and I do not think he—I don't know if he got like, like, overtime pay or anything, because that's like overtime pay. <laughs> hey, because you're there for probably three extra hours at that point, and you don't get like anything extra, honestly. Oh my God, Nair. This is so close. This is base. This is Rob. 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 Wow, we were on. We were on such great timing. It was. <laughs> I think Bird did not get you this time, or he unbanned you. Imagine being able to drive, drive, go to SLU from campus. Don't even go. You can go to Lilat, I'll approve. You can even turn hazards off. I like I like Lilat. I like Lilat Cruz. You know It's kinda of funny. Yeah, do you think I play the game? <laughs> I play for funds. You know what's funny? I'm telling DJ, this was cringe. That you're cringe. Cringe. Cr you are the opposite of swag. Can you mute him again? Arma? Is it? Okay, why did Jab do 22%? You know, I'm gonna give Armus some mercy. I might ban him. I might ban him again for grant for winners finals. Oh my god, is that dead? Bro. Did you ever play with like with a toy that ha that Rob was in or the ro the gyro might thingy? I didn't either. 
Have you ever played Splatoon? Do you think C8's played Splatoon? Really? The only thing is because he thinks Inkling is cool? Because I know I know for a fact Luma has never played Jerome. <laughs> Do you think he's played Jerome? No, he has no character loyalty at all to Rob. In, in, at Smash Up? He went to the Orban Chestnut? Oh my god. Those are crazy. Do you guys remember the Urban Chestnut people? Like, Susumo? Who else was there? Who else was... Yeah. It's Dojos and Urban Chestnuts. He was like the best Samus. Who else was there? Change the timing. Ooh. Mario Kart DS is old. That's, cr that's a crazy statistic. That's an insane statistic. I'm so old. Wait, is Melee older than Lumo? Oh my lord. This game is so hard. Like, I think about it and I'm like, wow, there's actually like a lot of skill expression, but there's also a lot of BS. Like, both these players basically can die at like any time. How old is Luma? 16. I think, isn't he 15? Turn 16? Blaze, how old are you? Melee is not older than you. Wait, when was Melee? 2001? So. I remember when I got a GameCube for the first time. Oh my lord. That was the most Rob thing that could have happened all set. Okay. You to tell me that that the what? The the Did you know down throw up air was beep boop and there was only two options in Smash 4? It was literally wait or hit. Or C8. And, and now you just, now it's the same thing. Don't you want me, baby? I'm so sleepy. Start battle. Who, who's still in chat? Who wants to talk to me? How are my pals? How are the pals? I don't have anyone to talk to me anymore, so I'm just gonna talk to chat. I don't really care about this set. Oh my god, they're going. But they're going Mario Joker again. I guess this is better than um, what you call it. This is definitely better than Rob and um, who does they keep Snake? This is definitely better than Rob Snake. I'll take this any day, I guess. But I'm also not really gonna commentate too well. Too strongly about this. It's like a, the first local back. I wanted to do remote commentary, but all of you guys hate me and didn't want to actually talk on the stream. I said, I hate myself. If you're 8, 16 now, you were born in like 2007. That's crazy.
I'm gonna go home and play TFT. Do you have homework? I have a meeting tomorrow with my boss. Tim, you wanna come talk with me on the stream? Ten. Yeah. 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 It'll make me get up earlier too. It'll make me get up earlier too. Hello, time. You got your booster yet? <laughs> oh, I'm fucking with you, dude. I love Tim. Tim. There wasn't a Yoshi in bracket today. Are you happy? Oh my god. Fireball just took Joker's jump. That's crazy. But your mom's like, no, uh, no, you. So she's getting the booster instead? That's crazy. <laughs> she gotta test it out first <laughs> to make sure it's safe. <laughs> That's funny. Has Luma actually been going Joker for most of the other tournaments? Because I actually, like, like, is it specifically against certain characters? Just playing solo Joker? Yeah, I realize. I mean, like, if there's money in the line, I understand it, but at the same time, it's like... You can definitely tell who he goes to rob, or switches just to rob against. Like, against Doman, he never plays Joker. He will never play Joker. <laughs> Got the rob switch. I mean... When you're able to force Luma into Rob, I guess that's a good feeling, right? Because you know you like put this crusty ass joke away. Going to get up smashed. I get, like when people like, oh my god, do you know how to let Trump? I don't know how to do that. I feel like it's I feel like it's different than this game. It wasn't Smash. Really. I remember Reyes. What he would do is just cape the other way. So he do it instant less strong. Because ZSS, ZSS would do the same thing too. Where you could just like tether instead. Who am I? I'm Shu and this is Tim. Shu. Tim Mu. You know, these are just friendly. Like, this is just the matchup that Noodles and I play every single day when we play in our apartment. So this is like. Just the exact same representation of skill that Noodles and I have. I promise. You played Smash 4 and you can't let Trump chew? I played Donkey Kong. When does Donkey Kong let Trump? I never needed to grab the ledge. Hmm? Down tilt did. If I, if I was off stage, I was probably dead. Let's Trump bear with DK was pretty good. Yeah, but I was bad. I remember the meme was always, Chu didn't know how to ding dong, but I was literally the cheesiest DK in, the, in all of SDL. I only knew how to ding dong. <laughs> People were like, Chu didn't know how to ding dong. And I would always do it to them. <laughs> My entire game plan was how do I ding dong you as fast as possible. So I had to play neutral lessons. So I throw them onto. Th okay, why are we only talking about Smash 4? You know what? Honestly, I just gotta relive my. It's like I'm a brawl vet now. Like I, I'm like what those brawl vets were, where they're like talking about Meta Knight or like, or like um, or Ice Climbers. I feel like Hylian, where you're just reliving your gl glory days. Mario hasn't changed that much since from the last game to this one. I feel like these both characters are the exact same. Mario's just a little bit better, and Rob's just a easy and better. Except we didn't get yelled at by Mike Hayes. Yeah, people are still surprised that Hylian's the Mike Hayes role guy. It's so funny. You know, I might run a Smash Four tournament. You want to run a Smash Four tournament instead of Ultimate Bracket sometime? I feel like a lot of people would come. Here we get like 20. 
Maybe like when Ultimate is like at the last leg, we'll host a Smash 4 tournament. Yeah. St. Louis Smash Con. You know, we should run a summit, but it's just Smash 4. <laughs> Smash 4 summit. Oh yeah, I can actually... Hey, we get to see Lavish, bro. Let's go Midwest, finally. Yo, Lavish isn't, I mean, okay, Michigan's actually like crazy. I'm gonna be very honest. They have like, o they had like Ozone, uh, Zenodo, uh, Cookie, was Cookie Tech from there? I think Cookie Tech was from there. Yeah, somewhere around Michigan. Yeah, day Daybreak, oh my God. I remember Rivers. Rivers was, I remember when Minnesota, I feel like Lavish is going to flop its own, but it's hype anyways. I don't think, I, I mean, he's not going to be seated that far, that far. I was just at dinner with my cousin and his friends who both go to SLU. How was it? How was dinner? What'd you guys eat? Up air? That's a Dr. Mario move, dude. Is that Dr. Mario? You're like, is this Tim? Do I know Luke Handy? I'll be very honest, I don't know most SLU students anymore. Mario Mondays. You should only go Mario at localhost. Mario Mondays. That's true. I mean, no flame. Haha, <laughs> XD. Haha. <laughs> I know. You always do. I know you do. You do. But Crazo was Michigan at the time when he dropped the ball hard in that crew battle. Oh, yeah, Rukuiza. And then he moved, and then he stopped playing Smash except for money. And then he started losing more. The ultimate Dodger. He also started losing, so he stopped going to tournaments. AK Mario Kosh moving. Oh, why did that didn't kill? You know, he would have died in Smash 4. He also could have. Uh, single coin. If he single coin, it would have killed at zero. That was broke. That was funny. Did you know? I remember like Samus had like Shine Spark. That does he really? Did they patch it? He was a Super Dodger in Smash Four too. Yeah, I mean the, it's kind of cringe. I think Super Dodging is crate is super cringe. Honestly, it's not going that badly, for sure. I mean, making Luma go go back to Rob with just his Mario is already kind of crazy. Find a counter to Joker. Is this, is this is specifically a Joker counter? Can he just go, um, Steve? Steve! I told AK every time he enters a bracket as Steve, he should uh, pretend to be, he should enter as Hero Brian. I'm gonna tell everyone that it's his first local ever. Is he actually dead? Oh my cringe. You know, I'm actually super hyped for Summit. We haven't had like a big. I, I feel like all ultimate brackets have been kind of boring lately. I. So the thing is, like. The thing is with like ultimate versus melee, I feel like melee just has such great personalities that you like have people you want to root for, but I feel like in ultimate, it's. It's someone new, which is kind of hype if you're, like, if you follow them. And it gives local scenes a chance to root for someone. But in all honesty, it's, like, very boring for, like, the layman's viewer. It's the same shit all the time. Oh, my God, I almost killed. Is he dead? Is he? No, he's dead. Oh, my He's Rob. Oh. 
Can you commentate next week? Uh, maybe if we if I find another commentator, then sure. We can commentate round one. That way I don't have to keep doing this. And I can, like, AFK. Turn off my brain during top eight. Just live talking with Tim. I mean, I'm still KFK and kind of t talking out my ass right now. Not gonna lie. This kind of happens when you're... Like, everyone's gone. Huh? We should just say, we should just say, he doesn't have a jump, but he actually has a jump. Or he, he has a jump, he doesn't have a jump. Yeah, we just lied the entire set. It's kind of cringe. I don't know. I don't really care. I don't know. I think crowd stuff is like, I think crowd stuff is like a part of the game. Yo, I think AK is gonna pull a grenade. Oh well. You know, I think the worst part about having these two as like our one and two is that like. Half the time when I'm watching these sets, I actually have no idea what the hell's going on. In all honesty, like I think it's just like it's literally like a Michael Bay movie happening every single day or every single week when we have a local. And like I did not want another Transformers movie. I know, every single week is a new Transformers movie. I wish we could. I, 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 they should. We should buff shield grab. You know how fun this game would be if we buff shield grab. I would have a lot more fun. That's why shield grab would be more fun, because then they would not be safe. On my shield, but I'm grabbing you if they buff it. That's why I'm saying you should buff it. They should buff shield grab to the point of no return. Yo, I would love this game. I would love this game. They should also buff pivot grab. I just love grabs. Donkey Kong main opinion. I play Bowser. I play, I play Link. I grab a lot with like. Yeah, I also do I also double jump a lot too. Oh my god. Yo, the set's done. I guess. It's <laughs> AK, AK, AK up aired. You on the set? It's kind of hard, right? You <laughs> were just talking about other things. <laughs> it's just so hard. Well. I can now go home, which is the poggiest part of this night. Thank you all for coming out and watching this set. I'm hoping that we have more tournaments again. We'll see. Hopefully. Uh, I can't wait to stay here every single week until 11 o'clock. Hell yeah. All right. Luma could have reset the, set, the, the bracket. All right, gamers. I'm gonna. Uh, so huh? Why would you camp? Don't don't camp. That's cringe. Camping is cringe. Camping is cringe. I'll, I'll send you guys to a different Smash stream. I don't know who yet. SAK Gaming something something.
The only, the only ra raid, do, does the Ignition really need the raid though? I'll just do this. All right. See you guys later. GG's.